Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Sunday. One, two, okay. Hello. What's up? Ada, hello. Happy Sunday. Wallen. Thank you, hello. Hello, Jason. It is thanks for giving me permission to clear. I love you. Hello, Fireblood. What's up, guys? Good to see you. Sunday. We're back on Dancer because last week I disconnected. Having a cookout. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's go. Does that mean you're outside? <laughs> uh, Yo, what's up, Hollow? Hey, Fireblood. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been off the grid. Off the grid. How does that feel? Feel like we in the forest, something with the mountains, <laughs> or the ocean. Which would you prefer? Which one of those three would you prefer? I probably would prefer the mountains. Life. That's yeah, also there. Option D. Prepared for enough of the old stream. Yeah, yeah, Ada. I hope you shared enough of the stream, dude. Yeah, what's up, guys? So today we're doing. We're gonna go back in on a uh, dancer. However, what I thought would be cool is if we just do a. Once we get up to sixty-one, we'll do a time management. So we're going to do a time management on 61, so I can kind of explain it, you know, a little bit more explanation. But until then, Please. we'll just uh, relax, we'll climb, casual climb, all the way up until then, and then we'll talk about that. Because I don't think I've done a- well, I did a warrior time management, but we'll do, um, kind of fizz range, which I would say is maybe- I would say the second popular class. So we'll do that. And then this week, um, we'll do warrior no sustaining as well so oh Aida thank you for continuing your sub I appreciate that hey what I hello Koemi hello fireblood thanks for the five months I really appreciate that support all right shall we get in here guys we got we got a hundred floors to go so you know it'll, it'll take a little bit of time so let's uh let's get started and uh let's just start rocking and rolling until we get to 56 what I say 61 yeah 61 so yeah I hope you guys are having a good uh good Sunday hope you all had a wonderful weekend as well. Oh, I hit the wrong one that I didn't want to hit. Who that? Yo, the 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 condor. Double the. It's the 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 condor. Yo. Thanks for the nine months of continued support. Thank you for that. Oh, you guys hit a hype chain. Cause Ada also did the hype chain thing. Yo, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Double hype. Quailua, hello. It's going pretty good, thank you for asking. Oh. Ready to do dancer. Well, that's what that's what we're that's what we're gonna be doing. Yo, Aurora, what's up, dude? Aurora just easily cleared Astro. <laughs> like the only person on Earth who you can who can actually you can actually put that criteria under. Easily cleared Astro. Good run today, man. I was watching since, uh, when did I have you on? Like, I think the moment you stepped into, like, 81 plus, I was there. It was just clean, man. What more can you ask for? Shoutout to Aurora, by the way. Streams before I do. Master healer, but apparently just really good at this game, too. Man, once- I, I swear, once that- once that, um... Once you clear that POTD Astro, it's just- the weights just fell off, man. This is the weights are just gone. Nothing can stop you at this point. It didn't. It, uh, yeah, because I guess it's not a. I don't know how that works. Maybe. Oh, you know what? It might happen, Ada. It depends on the anniversary day. Um, unless it was the anniversary, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that all works. Can we? Can I finally like? Uh, thirty six, Luki. Hello, how you doing? How whoa, how whoa. Uh, we just this is gonna be cruise control on this job, man. I had so much fun last week just going through this job. It was so refreshing after the after kind of the 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 amount of tension attention I need to give Astro. So this will be like another almost like break for me. <laughs> eh, just a casual 100 clear. Hopefully we get challenged. But really, the the bulk of that time management tutorial will come down to like 61 and uh, 61 and 71, and we'll we'll essentially win the run through 61 to 71. Like that's what it will come down to. So if we nail those, then hopefully that'll be that'll translate to anyone else's runs in the future. Does it feel good because it's physical range for the stand? Um, I think dancer feels better than it did before. Like I mean, I've taken it in Palace. It, it felt. Pretty damn good in Palace. Like I was highly impressed with what it pulled off in Palace. 
Um, in here, we were really cruising, almost like machinist. I mean, Bard felt like... Like, Bard feels like it took a little bit of effort. Like, a little more effort than... A little more effort than, say, uh, Machinist did. But Dancer just feels like it's just... It's just kind of strong. I feel like those potency changes really does matter. Maybe it's because I continue to give sub and was going to end today at the moment. Yeah, something like that. I'm not sure on the details, but, uh... Yeah, no. This is so annoying. At least I can auto kill it. Here for me. Okay. Far cutting Mimica that steals fun. I mean, any fizz range is fun. That's for sure. <clears throat> At least you can kind of like run around with dots on, you know? <laughs> and just get your procs going. Yo, food! Food sounds amazing. Oh, I don't think I don't think there's a trap here because I think I stepped on it. Uh, I started going for you to yesterday. See a shiny little bug. Is there a good way to farm? So aether pole. What I sometimes suggest for aether pole is that um, like okay, how, where are you now with your aether pole? Like how fresh are we talking about? And then I can give you a good suggestion. Because I don't want to just, like, it, I can give you a blanket statement, but, like, I mean, you could be sitting 50, and I'll be like, well, you're fine. Like, you could, like, some people think, like, they're at 60, 70, arm and armor, and they're like, I got a farm. And I'll be like, no, you just go right, in, you can just go right in solo right from there. But if you're, like, 10, 20, because you just literally unlock the game mode, then that, that could be understandable. Kind of depends where you're sitting at. I see a doggo. It's going to be a good run. We saw a doggo. Uh, Mutsu. Hey, aw, oh, no hype train. We. It's okay. Not a big deal. I started the gun. Oh, I read that already. Uh, you don't need to be 82. No. So here's the deal. Um, in the assumption that you're trying to get Necromancer, right? Assuming you're getting Necromancer, you're starting at four one. Now, think of it. Think of it like this. You really only need 99, 99, maybe at like floor 130, 140. I mean, the difference between say 90 and 99 is not like a game changer. Like you can get through, like it's going to be a little bit harder, but you can get through. But you have 140 floors to hit silver chests and to potentially level up at some point. And not to mention on floor 50 and floor 100, and then every 10, every boss floor after that, you'll get a plus one, plus one in your arm and armor. So along the route as you're climbing, in the assumption you're not skipping silver chests, you'll probably cap out at 99 long before you even need need that need it then. And at 89, at 82, 92, easy. You'll be 99, 99 by like, I would say 90 or 100 that like that early. Like I was doing runs before where um, I pushed my arm and armor down to 79, 79. Because my logic for that was, okay, let me get some grips, right? Let me work on these achievements that, that are in Palace. So I got two grips, pushed my thing to 79, 79, and then we climbed up from one. And by the time around 110, 120, checking every silver chest along the way, I got um, 99, 99 by that time. And that's even a lot earlier than you really need the 99, 99. So, um, you know, it wasn't that bad at all. You can even you can even start as early as maybe 60, 69 ish, 75 ish, and you might make it through. Um, so yeah, you don't need to be capped. Like reality is okay. If you're like okay, I'm I'm going to start a run today, and today is the day I get Necromancer. That's probably when you should be 99, 99. But if you're still progging, and if you're still alerting, and you're like yeah, you know what? I'm not sure. Yeah, my BP my PB was like 150. Eh, you don't need to be 99. It's okay. You'll 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 get it by the nature of just your climb, and then boom. You know. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, do real. I was comfortable making two grips each new climb. I always started 79, 79. Always max out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the yeah, yeah, do real. That's what I did. And it's good to actually see like a like a secondary um a secondary opinion on that one. Um. So there you go. More evidence on that. If you're going high, do, 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 do. yep. Mm -hmm. Yo, Fubar, what's up, dude? We actually did a test of Heaven on High 
uh, from st oh, that does not sound fun. <laughs> that, that does not sound. It sounds like you probably will die at like 60. Because, <laughs> like, I, I remember doing a, a run before where I was like, I started like 10 20, and I was like getting one shot by like Serpy and getting one shot by uh, Fenner. You made it! What? Okay. Alright, well. Well, you guys are like real gamers though. I was like fake gamers. Uh, what Hollow said too, by the way. Snowy Mole. Now I have a Dark File and a War File 171. I have no excuse left. Time to try Behemoth. Snowy Mole. Take a deep breath, man. You got this. Or ma'am. I don't make assumptions. You got this, dude. Om nom dots! Mine is slowly deteriorating. I hit 150 yesterday before I misplayed and died to a sign, then died in 80 behemoth, and immediately died on the bottom of the Black Rider for it. Hey Omnom. Hey Omnom. You know how my Astro runs are going, Omnom? I go 189, 190, 181, 150, 150. <laughs> hey Sid, how you doing? Good to see you. So don't worry, regression will happen. It's okay. It's our existence in here. You just gotta shake it off and go back in. Boo 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 boo. Oh, strength. So, so Omnom, it's all good, dude. Oh, imagine me dying on floor five. Wouldn't be me. Ugh. Ugh. I need to, I need to like, sit back, man. Hold on. Just sit back, relax, man. After 300 hours, you think you'd have mastered floor floors? No, you know what the you know what the progression is, Omnom. You know what the progression is? You learn, you do your first run, and your first run is like, man, like I'm 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 nervous as hell. I'm learning. You know, my alert is at like 2,000. You know, out of 100. And then you go the second run. You're like, yeah, okay, okay, a little bit more comfort. You know, I know what I'm doing. I think that middle section before you actually clear is where you're feeling a little too confident, and I and and it's in, in a combination of you feeling confident, and on top of that, you're like, I, I just want to get back up to the top. I just want to get up to 150 again, 160. You know, I just want to get up to those higher levels and frog that because these lower levels are trash, man. They're so easy, and that's where the complacency kicks in, and that's where the mistakes happen. So like my progression has been, I did that, that happened to me in, in Red Mage. I totally did that. I'm like, I just want to get back to 160, man, I don't want to progress this again, and I kept dying on the lower floors over and over and over. So now it became like, okay, let me sacrifice 10 minutes going a little bit slower and safer to guarantee myself into those higher floors. And it kind of went like from here to like here, and then back up again. So it's, it's honestly just, you're, you're, playing it like every other person, honestly, so it's all good. It's okay. What is this? I hit it like five times. Uh, I made it to floor 113, my very first solo prog. It's motivated- it's motivated you so hard for 200. Good. Get in there. <laughs> Get back in there! Talk to me when you're 114. No, good. Good to hear. Uh... The hard part of the dungeon is the urge to, to rush back to forest and actually make up your mind to set up a new run. Right now, I stopped rushing and things done well, but I'm too late to make a new file. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that sometimes, man. It's because it's because you look in front of you. I do this to games all the time too. Like there are a lot. There's a number of games when I was searching, like a little, even recently, I was like, man, I want to play something. But you know what goes in my mind? Oh man, if I play this game, I gotta do this, this, that. It's gonna take me this long. This, this. It's gonna take me, you know. I have to do all this because I'm like a, per I'm like a perfectionist. I want to do it all correctly. So it becomes this like really kind of annoying thought process. Yo, an Omni Ross? <laughs> Wait, did you clear? Wait, that's a little early. Hold on a second. I know you just did Odin maybe about 30 minutes ago. Did you clear? Yo, Omni Ross, by the way, is is two jobs away from from Omni clear, and he was doing a machinist file uh, just earlier. Aurora rated him. You got oh, this is easy clear. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Loading trap. 
Yara, hi, good to see you, dude. Alright, it's really good to see you. Nice, so it's just a it was just an easy clear for Omnia. Steal guys from Om guys, if you're if you want some deep dungeon, extra deep dungeon content, Omniwas does stream deep dungeon a lot, and I think predominantly on their on their stream. So if you want another perspective, you want someone chasing for Omni Clear, go for Omniwas. And he helps so much, so many people in the Discord. Uh, if you're not on the Discord, that's our Discord for the stream. But really, it's become kind of the haven for solo runners. Um, uh, what do you call it? He helps so many people in that Discord, and and. And it's just, yeah, you're just gonna get a good time in his stream, and, and he does that also in his stream, so definitely check him out. He picked up a Petri in three magicites and two floors. Speaking of Petrify, literally started mass, mass pulling for points. Good lord. I was so mad at floor 60F, I rage quit, I rage quit earlier, but I'll be back into it later. My, I'm dedicating my frog. Alright, take it easy, man. Nice and easy, nice and slow, you know, don't don't rush it, you'll, you'll, you'll get there. Um... I miss anyone else's thing? Oh, I did miss Monumental. Monumental said I feel that much attempting to... Attempting... Attempt 2 was a big complicated mistake on Floyd 134 after the 180. Back to became with Naldo, yeah. Yeah, you just gotta like, you know, calm yourself a little bit. To... Glad to take the... the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really appreciate that. Actually, I would say it started with Finn. I think Finn kind of started first, right? Finn went in, and then Finn went to Aurora, and then Aurora went in, I think? I could be wrong. I was out kind of all day today. Mostly. Do we know if we get- yep. Between 2000, between January and March of 2023. January and March of 2023, you're gonna see a deep- you're gonna see a deep dungeon. And that's just about guaranteed because they announced it for uh, around that time. They announced it for 6.3. And a little bit after 6.3, and if you mathematically do the way they do the patch cycles, uh, not including any potential delays, you're seeing it around January to March, somewhere around there. I remember one time I said that, and the guy's like, like, that's a good joke. I'm like, no, that's real. <laughs> like, no, that's, that's actually legit. <laughs> okay, we could math it out for you if you want to. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about as, that's about all we know. Did I get paralyzed? I got stunned. Oh hey, while I have you guys here, I'm gonna be advertising this a little bit, although I really wouldn't call it an advertisement. Aside from you guys buying coffee, which is great, you guys should buy coffee. Um, I am doing a survey, okay? And what I want to do is I want to collect questions from... Actually, you guys are the perfect people. And later, when we get a little bit more people in here, especially in the higher floors, you guys are the perfect audience for this. Think about if someone new is streaming Deep Dungeon, like brand new, they're going for their first clear, or it's like their first run. What are the common questions you hear those guys ask, or those ladies ask? And I'm trying to gather those questions because we might do something with it in the future. So if you guys can think of anything that either you've seen or that you've personally answered, etc, etc, uh, I would really... Why is my... Okay. What am my shortcut? Why is my shortcut? Oh, compass number pad. Okay, sorry. Um, so if if you have anything and and like and of that sort, please put it in that survey. I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. No. Everything that you've heard. It, basically, anything that either you guys have either streamed yourself and actually asked the chat something and the chat responded, or you've been in a stream and someone is asking questions and you tried to help them. You know? Like this is like literally like if you were backseating someone, which I know that a lot of times backseating is not great, but that is what I'm looking for. So help me out, you know, fill that thing out and let me know what you guys what you guys have heard, seen, etc. And then we might do something really cool with it in the future. Anything. Anything you can think of. Any question that you can think of, man. Like we're, I'm gonna filter it out with me and my mods. We're gonna, we're gonna look it up, uh, and then and then try to try to address that, some of that stuff. So this would be different than the survey. The survey is a little bit different. Uh, I'm sorry. The uh, the feedback video was different. Like that was totally like, what do you think should get better? This is all about like a streamer viewer relationship thing. So I'm gonna have that available for like a couple weeks, I think, to give it a lot of time. But uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna work with something with it. 
Let me catch up a thing. Hey, what's up, Stig? Dancer channel. Yeah, we're back on Dancer because I disconnected on uh, floor 88 last time. Should I use Palm here? Yeah, that's a good... A lot of the common ones... Uh, uh, I, post, I post this Sunday morning. Uh, today morning, whatever. Uh, and the common one was boss time. So far. And it made me think of Aurora's guide uh, when he gave me the Astro boss times and how useful that thing is. So, stuff like that. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I joked with my mods. I'm like, guys, wouldn't it be great if we actually... If we actually can source the community to be so conditioned that if someone in like the random Twitch universe asks, Hey guys, how long... How long does it take to kill this boss? And your entire chat says, Ask Pin. That's it, that's the answer. Ask Pin. But not even a time, it's just Ask Pin. I think that would be the best timeline ever. Ellie, good to see you, by the way. You can probably write a thesis about the stuff I asked when I run. <laughs> just write a thesis, then. Now, Ellie, you've, you've been subjected to my, uh, my term papers, so uh, we can certainly write a thesis. If you want necromancer, she's like, yeah, that should be- yeah, we should put that in. Oh my god. But- but think of it a little bit- so, that's fine. But think of it a little bit in the sense of... Um... Like, the streamers in the higher floors, and they're trying to- they're trying to win. They're trying to get to the next set of floors. So what- what would those common questions be, right? So like, boss time, do I use a palm, like Hollow said. Um, along along those lines of things, it would really be useful to know the time for every boss without buffs. Yeah, it, that would be good. Yeah, absolutely. Put that in the survey. Like a like a Twitch chat hyper. Hi, what? Oh, hive mind, hive mind, hive mind. Yes. Flight vs. Alter is a big one. I think a lot of newer streamers... You know what You know what? a lot of newer streamers and newer runners have a fear of? Is alterations. I think a lot of them don't trust alterations, so they kind of avoid it. And I think that's a, that's a big one, but that's a tough one to explain on the spot, right? It's a tough one to be like, hey, use an alteration. And then to kind of go through this debate as to why. I don't know how often it gets asked, but saving palms versus knowing when to use them would be helpful. Yeah. Absolutely. So anything you guys think of, anything, drop it in there, and I'm gonna put that in a couple times over. Uh, so... I appreciate it, thank you guys. And then like I said, you guys are the perfect ones to ask, because you are the audience I'm looking for. When you should avoid each type of chest, i.e. when I should take so yeah yes. Some people still think golds and bronzes explode in the higher floors. But that's fair. Okay, that's not really common knowledge, if you will. Although, although, that is actually something very important too. Oh, I have no healing. Are in alterations pog for XP? They are pog for XP. But I would say most runners who are trying to stream Deep Dungeon, they're probably not streaming the lower floors. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Like, I would, I still think a lot of people do do like kind of, they they know that the higher floors are more exciting, and that's what they're gonna focus on. You know, um, so that's kind of one that probably is not as important for someone to know. Like on the like, I would say that was something that would they would learn like from the from the guides, and and all that stuff. Um, like they probably would have either had to have already known it by then, or it just becomes like a discussion point or something like that. So the questions are interesting because the answers can vary from runner to you, which is cool. They can vary from runner, and obviously it can vary to job, and it could vary to time, and like there's so many variables to to such like these questions, right? So. Alright, let's continue. Wait, actually, hold on, hold on. Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna be here, I just need to get stuff.
So I don't have my uh, I don't have my Twitch on my TV yet. So I need to put it up. But yeah, we'll put we'll throw out that survey there. We got we got some responses in the beginning of the day, but I figured on stream is a better is a better time to do it because again it affects you guys. Using match sites on bosses. It's more like why? Why would you do it? That would be kind of more the uh, more the thing. But yeah, no, put put it in there. Anything you think of, even if you think it's dumb. What would be a dumb question? What's a dumb question? Hmm. <laughs> I can't think of a dumb one. Because like all of them have like a like a logical thing you could put probably put to it. The patchy works on bosses. See, I wouldn't consider that dumb though, right? Because if you just don't know, because like think of it like from the pers like if you think of it from the perspective R Raven of a person who's never ever stepped in here, that's a valid question, right? That's not a, that's not. I mean, that's not a terrible question. Should I open bronze chest? No, see, that's not dumb either. See, that goes along the lines of like, um, a person not knowing that the mimics are tiered. Like I said, I think I think people still still think that all the all the mimics all the chests can explode, all the chests can be mimics, and that's why you know sometimes the guys we try to make sure that people know that. But uh, yeah, when you when you look at like my more recent my more recent videos, I don't talk about that. It, like I'm just assuming you already know this, but sometimes you can't make that assumption. Sometimes sometimes I forget that someone could be approaching the video for the very first time, never looking at anything else prior to that point. And then it's like, oh, right, you know? So like, it's really good to have, say, Meiji's guide in this instance, or like Effier's guide, or like a lot of other guides, written guides that are out there, because a lot of them do start from the base value. They start from a foundation. Hey, this is how you start, this is how you unlock the quest. I don't start from that. I start from the assumption that you have enough potions, you have your arm and armor, and then you're going for the title. So a lot of the foundation stuff is already done, but if you're approaching the videos, only the videos and not the guides, then yeah, you're gonna miss out some some crucial information. I generally don't think an earnest question. Yeah, I yeah, I'm like I'm trying to think of it like what would be like a really silly question. I don't I don't think I don't think there could be one, which I guess is good, right? Um, to some extent. Is me just guys to eleven? Absolutely. Um, the thing is. The only, I would say, partial issue with Meiji's Guide is that it is still catered to the Red Mage run. And the issue with that is that a lot of people don't use Red Mage. Um, so, like, like I was watching Zeppola utilizing it, and she utilizes that guide a big time. But she was on Warrior. So there are some things there in terms of the higher enemies that essentially doesn't apply to Warrior. Like, Warrior can handle everything, whereas Red Mage, you'd avoid certain things. Um, but then if you're taking that as your bible, it's hard to like know the difference between what a warrior can handle and what a red mage can handle. But all that thing, if you were taking it a red mage, it still would be um, an appropriate guide for that topic, right? Does that make sense? Um, and she does keep it up to date. Like like she has like the like the Endwalker tier list in her thing. She has a couple other mentions in that stuff. She does runs on on the weekly basis. Like she she's very she's very up to date with the entirety of Deep Dungeon. Um, so it is a very it's still a guy that I would highly highly recommend for everyone to start off with. If you want something written, if you want to read, you know, on your commute or something like that. At work, whatever, and you can't watch a video. Perfect guy. Do you still die to silly deaths sometimes? Of course I do. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you just go back in. That's how I do it. I mean, I would say, like, like Southerner, I would say Thursday, timing out on 150 was a stupid death, if you will. Maybe the Arcanist Master? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fantastic starting point. I would say. And then you supplement it with like a lot of other things. Christians are probably not you pick up the worst habits. <laughs> oh no. I mean, couldn't there be an argument for like what not to do in Deep Dungeon? Like wouldn't that be an argument? 
And and wouldn't that perspective still be useful to someone? Oh, it happens. I mean, you gotta... Yeah, you do have to kind of train it out of your brain with the habits. Um, so... Look at my food. Arroz con frijoles with sausage and carne. Ooh. That sounds really good. Um, do you have a, do you have one for everyone? Wait, do I need to kill you? Oh, I'm at 70 yet. Oh. Okay. What is the other chest? Wait, what was the other chest? Hello, Kim. Comment machine in deep dungeon because how did I not how did I not die to that? Am I lagging? Kachet, please, please. <laughs> I'm deleting the vod. Wait, that's not a question. Hold on. Is this steel? Okay. You're the best thing in heaven on a high. Says a viewer. Says a spectator. How do I delete a VOD? Yeah. It's Titan. Blah la la. The progression of silver chest is funny. You go to click them and dying, and being scared of clicking them to clicking them intentionally to save. <laughs> yeah, Condor. Yeah, it's so true. It's like a it's like a roller coaster love hate. Absolutely. It's like a like true love hate relationship. Uh, I'm gonna affluence. Come here! Pow pow! Chest. There was 70. Now I have my other pew pew. Oh, it's a hand. Come here, hand. Felt like I lagged there for a second. Better not have lagged. Okay, another Petri. Okay, Petri's a filled out. I have two match sites, so we're good to go. Oh, just in case uh, anyone else hopped in recently, we are talking about uh, a survey that I am conducting, and we are gathering questions that um, your your perspective here is either being a a new runner searching for the title in Deep Dungeon, or you are watching someone who is going for the title for the first time in Deep Dungeon. And basically, what questions the streamer asks, or what questions you have gone and answered yourself to try to help the person out. And so I'm trying to gather all of those together, and we might do something with it uh, in the near future. So if you have anything that you can think of, again, also try not to like, we've had this up for like about a half a day so far. Um, don't feel like your thing is the most common question. Honestly, by by giving a response that is quote unquote common is actually the best because it means it gives it a priority. Like, okay, a, a lot of people are asking the same thing. All right, we gotta we gotta maybe think about something for that. If that makes sense. Um, so anything you think of, just drop it in. We're gonna review it. All that fun stuff. I appreciate it. And we're gonna be- I'm gonna be advertising that a couple times, um... Much- especially in the later floors. The later floors are perfection for that. Because a lot of people are going to be more the spectators, more the, uh, the guys that are probably tuning in because it's on the higher floors. And then, you know, think of that perspective. You know, we've had a number of streamers out there who... You know, they're- they're- they're panicking. They're in a panic mode. They don't know what to do. Um, and even- even if they read- read the guide, even if they watch the video, they're kind of searching for a little bit of help, and sometimes it, it comes down to you guys in chat. To, 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 to kind of sort of hopefully guide them to victory. <laughs> and hopefully you guys give them the right answer. Of course, you know, it's not really a right answer, it's just... Just don't kill them, that's all. The new PlayStation Plus is keeping me busy, but I want to try Red Mage Run now that I've managed to clear it to see if I can do any better. Of course you can do better! One thing I, I also fight myself with is when to serenity no item floors uh, when I have gold chests in the higher floors. 
Would I have gold? No item. You know... See, like, if, you, if you're like a machinist, um, Alcaran, like, you can get away with, like, a couple things. Like, especially in Palace, you can get away without, without no items. Because you can even kill Mimics without no items. With enough kiting. Um, but take like a melee? A melee is like an instant serenity, like I don't even question that one, there's no way. Um, although on like, say Heaven on High, there's a little bit of a different perspective because you can get away with with a, without, with a no items by using a magic slide. Uh, and on the higher floors, that's really not that bad of an idea, you know, so... And it, it really does depend on the situation, but... Yo, what's up? What's up, Dairyman? How you doing, man? Respect these uh, salamander dudes. It's a hand. I better. Hey, demon. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Had a had a pretty good Father's Day. Uh, spent it with the fam. And then uh, here we are now. Have a busy week this week. Very busy week this week. But. Right. So also because because of that, um, I'm flipping my days this week. Usually I do um, usually I do a variety stream on Monday mornings, a uh, Monday afternoon. Uh, but because of some family stuff, I will have to swap that to Wednesday. So no stream tomorrow, and we'll do an afternoon stream on Wednesday instead, just for this week because we just got stuff to do. So. Still working on my SOP speedruns, which I'm pretty excited to do, still. It's just getting really hard to do that. The, the run is getting so hard now. I'm just I'm just grateful that Rank 1 hasn't posted a new time, but I know he got faster. I know he had gotten like a minute faster, but he didn't post it yet, so I'm just like kind of just crossing my fingers I can just chip away a little bit more into that run. Gotta love this song, it's such a good battle theme. What is this chest? I don't remember. Oh, steel. Alright. Oh, I'm blinded. Hope the run goes better than last time. Did <laughs> yeah, just uh, just talk to my uh, my ISP. Oh, you know what? I'm actually getting. Uh, I still don't have fiber, but I am getting double the speed on Thursday. I'm going from 500 megabytes to one gig. And because and, and and the reason I'm doing that is because I'll be paying a hundred dollars less than my bill. <laughs> because you know that makes sense. Obviously it makes sense. So for me to double my speed I go I pay a hundred dollars less. Yeah. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Like I don't need the speed, I just need the I just need the uh the, the, the insurance that is not going to drop at any point. But, you know, to be fair, we haven't, uh, we haven't, uh, I haven't gotten, like, the bad bid rates recently. Like, it's been very rare, so... I'm paying a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot I'm paying for. Can you finally enter speed speedrun internet here? Dude, I'd, I'd be fine with, like, 100 megabytes up, man. I don't really need that much, but... We have municipal internet recently, everyone fleeing Comcast because they were so abusive. Good. I mean, yeah. I mean, Comcast, like, doesn't Comcast throttle? What a terrible existence. I know, I know, like, some streamers are getting throttled because of Comcast. I'm like, oh my god. Like, streaming is a lot of internet data, and to get throttled because you're using too much, it's just like, how the hell can you exist as a streamer? Like, you can. <laughs> Sp 
spooky song. I think it was fun, we're testing some stuff tonight. Are you gonna- yo, Raven. Are you gonna- are you gonna race for world first party? I can almost see that happening. I mean, if you guys cleared- if you guys cl hold on. If you guys cleared on a 0-0 zero zero arm in armor, I suspect you guys are in the on the running for a, the world first. Don't know yet. <gasps> Happy June team. June team. June. June team. Am I saying that right? Yo, what's up, Catman? How you doing? Depends on what Mito wants to do. Are you, gonna, are you going to? No. The the live letter is at 7 a.m. my time. I am dead asleep then. I don't exist before 8 a.m. <laughs> my body's in another dimension before 8 a.m. So I do not exist at that time. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up uh, after post. But I do want to hear about Criterion though. Criterion is one I'm really interested in. So he kind of wants to go for a solo first. Okay. Okay. That's fair. I mean, you have to choose which one. You have you have to make the commitment of of of, of one or the other because yeah. But I know like party should be I like I can't imagine the making it so hard for a light party to not clear in the first day. Like I want to think that a light party can clear the new D dungeon in a day. And if they cannot clear in a day, I'm going to smile from like ear to ear. I'll be so happy. Like oh you made it that hard huh? Okay let's go. I usually exist at 5 to 6 in the morning. <laughs> gotcha. What do you think the next D dungeon will be? No clue. Absolutely no clue, I'm dumb. No clue. What if it's a thousand floors? Well, I mean... I mean, even if you park like 800 in a day, that's still like within, you know, X amount of time. You're gonna aggro in here, yeah. They will mount for for the for the fat money. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. I sleep in a different dimension. Have you considered maybe why I have sleeping problems? Yeah, true. I didn't say I had good sleeping habits. I just said that's what happens. We'll get some aether pull for him. Then grab a rando and just farm for new mounts. Gotcha, Raven. Got to keep the skinny in check. I just wanted to see my reaction to new, new dungeon. A review survives. Yeah. I don't react to things though. <laughs> I don't have very many emotions. I'm still collecting my emotions in uh, in Heaven on High because I I don't have any like IRL. So once I hit 9999 or 999, I might actually have on um, like IRL emotions, but I'm still collecting them. What's up, Alice? Hello. I've been well, thank you. Thanks, the guys. Watch many, and finally, yes, I saw I saw your post one error. I'm happy that uh, they helped you. So congratulations on Zanekometsa. Man, two not you know when you get the 191 more than once, it starts to get into your head, and 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 that's good because you didn't make it happen more than once. You just had it twice, rather more than twice. You know, the first time is YOLO, second time it's like okay, this better not be a thing, but now you got through, so it's good. Congratulations. No emotions. Gotta farm. Gotta farm each with <laughs> Yeah, I gotta collect them up here, man. I started. I started without them, and now I found them. I just need to get them all into one piece. Title never coming off. Hey, hey, one error. I want to ask it to you directly, but the, the rest of chat can also participate. What title for the next deep dungeon would have to exist that you would actually not use Necromancer? Like, I've, I've been kind of posed that question a couple times, and I've thought about it a couple times, and I just cannot think of something that I could potentially have that, like, um, like, of, like, oh man, what can I use to, like, re what's gonna replace this thing? They make magnet. 
So it's like a chick bagging set, like, you just get a whole bunch of, like, very hungry mimics. Man, you know, that would be so cool, though. They should have an achievement for the amount of mimics you kill. Oh my god, that would actually be the best achievement. That would be such a meme, but that would be so good. Oh my god, they should do that. I would enjoy that. Especially if they retain that being something in the next deep dungeon. The intuitive. Necro Lord says Mr. Steffi. Actually, you know what? Actually, Necro Lord does sound like something I would use over Necromancer. The Undying. Well, the Undying I think is a PvP one, isn't it? That actually exists. Isn't that one? Isn't that a PvP one? Depends on how hard it will be. Well, okay, I can see what you're what you're pointing at, shiny little bug. Like the meaning of the of the of the title could also be a factor. That's true. That could that could be true. That could be true. Be you memeing about a hidden boss being a giant mimic if you altered floor ninety nine? <laughs> Or like, Ultra Floyd 100, you get a boss Floyd 100. Immortal something? I think you're like, you're basically like... You're basically running down like PvP achievements. Hold on, let me see for a second. Also, let's change the song for a sec. Uh, is it Wolfstone? I think so. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so... Going, winning on tank, you get unmoving. Winning on... Melee, you get the unrelenting. Winning on range DPS, you get the unseen. Winning on magical, you get unleashed. Healer is undamaged. Oh, that's it. I thought there was Undying. I guess not. I thought there was also Movable, but it might be a different one. Something like that. Actually, couldn't I search it? Well, I can't search. Right. Because I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have a title for all three. I know. Uh, the Omni The Omni title is still something I wish, I wish that existed. Imagine the pumpkin being a mimic. Be cool. Like, if it gets solo clear in, let's say, four days, it'll be a good title. I want it to be at least a week. Soloing Heaven on High took two max. From World First was two weeks. I saw Deep Dungeon and all I got was a title. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. All you did would get was a title and a shrine thing. Lord of the Deep. Lord of the Deep. You go real deep, says Sarek. The lighting was weird. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's do an app once. How many more with how many more Omni clears popping up? Stuff like that, like Loneliest Hero be sick. <sighs> I know, Loneliest Hero be sick, dude. I want the loneliest hero. But yeah, that that still is also the, the point that I, I wonder if SC will take into consideration, right? Because I've I've talked about this so many times. Heaven on High when it was introduced. Uh you had like two necromancers, period, like in existence. That's all you had. So of course, like the thought of an omni title or the thought of like job titles were definitely not, not really required. Oh, that was a flight. Oops, I thought that was a sight. They were not required. Like you didn't really think that would be a thing. But now you're in an era where you have people who cleared like so many times omni clears, dozens, dozens of clears, so on and so forth. So it, because of that, and they could see those statistics, I mean, it's on Lodestone, right? So it's not like it's not like they can't see what's going on. So you wonder if that is taken into consideration for, like, the achievement system or whatnot. Um, and we shall see. That's why it's it would be nice to have an Omni title. It would be nice to have job achievement titles. But you can't blame them for not having it in right now. Because this is something that I'm sure probably they didn't see, they didn't necessarily predict would be a thing. And you're really only seeing it as of like, a lot of it from like a little bit of last year and a lot of it this year. That a lot of that is showing up. And probably within the within the time frame of them 
starting to consider the construction of that new deep dungeon, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see what'll happen in the future. Deadwalker? Deadwalker? Hmm. Lone Walker? I'm a Lone Walker maybe. Dead Walker? Not quite sure. Also, the story played part in the title. True, yeah. You think Lord of the Deep would become the title people would show up? Do you think Necromancer would still be the title? It depends. It depends on what Lord of the Deep would be associated with. So like, if Lord of the Deep happens to be the title for next Deep Dungeon, it could be questionable. If Lord of the Deep re re refers to like the Omni, refers to like multi clears or something, I think people would flex that more. You know. And before it's Moon thing, like the maps, we get a. Silly little silly bunny title. So what kind of bunny title would you have, Bun Bun? I would seemingly think you are the expert currently in chat for that. <clears throat> it ain't that deep. Star Walker. Star Walker. Man, those are all really good suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> Climbing- you want to be called a lolliprit? Oh, that's fair. God damn it. If the next Deep Dungeon Space, they should have the title The Astronaut. I wouldn't wear The Astronaut though. Climbing Way is amazing. Climbing Way actually would not be too bad. There's a Biff deck. Are you a Biff deck? Astromancer? See, that would be the. Astromancer would be the clear Palace of the Dead on Astro achievement. Which would be sick. They should be justified in throwing in new round of achievements and a bunch of DD and stuff. You would think so, Sarek, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, aside from what I just said about the the current state of Deep Dungeon and the amount of people that have engaged with it and clears and all that stuff, I do have a slight concern with the achievement system because I've had my my issues with the achievement system. I mean, specifically, a lot of them came from like PvP and stuff. Like, for instance, one of the ones I I hate 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 is the Hand of Mercy title. The Hand of Mercy title is if you go into PvP Frontline and you kill 5,000 people. That sounds like a lot, that sounds like a really cool title. Except that's been there since ARR and they've never updated it. And we are like 3-4 expansions in and it's still 5,000 kills. And that pissed me off that they never considered about upgrading it or increasing it or giving some type of way to like track your kills overall, like that would have been so exciting to me. I would have engaged in frontlines so much more if I had this like infinite tracking system of my kills in frontlines. Like that would have made it so much more enjoyable, but no, it never, never, never a thing. Um, so it, it's debatable about whether they'll give us something really good. Like historically speaking, it's been, I, I honestly think the the achievement system in the game is a little just kind of just like a side note to things, but we'll see. We'll see. They do good, they do good naming titles, that's for sure. Like the titles are great, but like, I wish there was just more achievements for more things in this game. Switching. They got Heart of the Partied. Starkist Star -kissed Savior. Starkist Savior. Oh, if it's in the space. Well, it depends on what you're doing in space. I mean... I mean, you're assuming we're saving space. What if we're actually destroying space instead? Our presence is, is making a disruption in the dimensions. So we're not fixing anything, we're breaking things. <clears throat> that could be viable. <laughs> Eater of stars? Nom nom stars. Yeah. 
And then you have to play like Super Mario to get them all back or something. Super Mario collab incoming. Dimensional Disaster. See, that's kind of cool. And it's DD, so it works. Om um, Nom Story. <laughs> Call it Space Jam? Copyright. Final Fantasy Galaxy 1. Soon. Giga Hoarder. That would be crazy. Hey guys, it's Titan Day. As it always is. Strength, I'll get it on the way way out. Flight. Sure. Oh, that's a lot of chests. Steel. Oh, I get it on the way out. Cool. It's another steel. All right. Serenity. I bonked into a wall. Nice. GG. Safety. Is there a difference between Magicite that are in Odin? Nope. Yeah, Odin's the only special one. The other three are just whatever. They're just aesthetics. That's it. No animation. Nothing is longer animation-wise. Nothing does more damage. It's just... It's just... Aesthetically different, that's all. Hey, Ganu, you know, I love that you said that, Ganu, because even as of two years, a lot of people didn't know what Necromancer was. There was obviously a time, a time period where you would have this title and they're like, oh yeah, cool title. And you know what it was. But now I think everyone kind of knows what it is now. I mean, it, it got helped with, I think, I would say, you know, certain streamers going at it and trying for the title and whatnot, so it got, it got a lot of more po popularity. Um, that is definitely undeniable. So I think a lot of people do, when they see the Necromancer title, they, they know immediately what that thing is. Do you think Craig is BIS? Do you think good old Titan? I wish, uh, I wish it would play the song of the, of the primal that you're using. Even if it's like a quick snippet. I, th that, I think that would be awesome. Oh, hey guys! If any of you are gonna go watch Zeppla, if she goes back in on Deep Dungeon, can you all tell her to use Super Potions? <laughs> can you tell her to use Super Potions? Thanks. Signed, me. In the community. I would appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, not that max potions is gonna be the difference, like a massive difference, but she was using max potions. So it'd be great if she used super potions. <laughs> especially on especially on Warrior. It's gonna help. <laughs> like just just like like ten of you just say that, and that, that should be good enough, you know. It did, it did Ganner, it did. Like she by the way, Zeppla. First time Behemoth, period, solo, ever, in her lifetime, gets it to like 1%. That's so good. <laughs> that's like, that's like, that's like, god damn, that's like the best I've almost seen from like so many other people, like ever, who's done this content. It's sick. Arcane, I see you! Good to see you, Arcane. Um... She got it to, I think she got it to 2 or 1%. Like, that is just ridiculous. So... I hope, like, I hope... I don't know what she does to study her, her runs or something, if she will. But man, if she just does, like, a side-by-side -side of her attempts versus any other video, not just mine, but any other video of doing Warrior, I think she's gonna pull away so much information. She got to 180. She got to 180. She attempted Behemoth, she got into the she got into the meteor phase and she she got Behemoth to like one two percent. Like it like without any prior experience on Behemoth on any job whatsoever. 
really good. I saw her sub to- oh! Oh, 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 oh! Wait, sub to me? I saw her sub to to me on Steam. Stream on YouTube. Oh. Dude, I don't even know that. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't see that. I don't see uh I don't see who subs to my channel. I can see some people, but I don't see everyone. I gotta say, but I'm scared to go in. Hey, mixed herbs, if you're gonna be awake in like four hours, I can get you. Today I am going to be talking about time management for Fizz Range. And we're gonna talk about how to get through and clear, being time efficient. So if you can hang that long, or maybe just check out the bot or something, then I got you. I figured I'd change it into like a tutorial today, because last week we were crushing it. And I want to like discuss it, so... It turns out the Enragey thing also makes them instant cast AoE. The Enragey thing also makes the cast... wait. What AoE? I've been starting Gunbaker 1 1 in the meantime, just did 30. Gunbaker definitely feels comfy. Oh, tank is. that's. There's a reason why tank in here is kind of like the favorite, you know? Oh, the Griffin? Yes! Yeah, Henry. Yeah, because they get a haste buff. <laughs> you know what's worse than a Griffin? A hasted Griffin. <laughs> yeah, you know, I died to that one time. You know what happened to me, uh, Henry? I, uh... I was fighting a griffin, I forgot, I think it was on a healer. And I accidentally get hit by Winds of Winter. Because I just positioned myself really bad. So I died, and I re-raised. But I had a dot on. So I fought it I fought it right away. And I didn't realize that I had haste on. So the very first free fall just deletes me. And I'm like, oh... Great. <laughs> That's, I'm great. I'm happy this happened to me. And so now I now I don't forget the fact that it gives haste. Like it just I just can't I just you know don't forget that anymore. Yeah, yeah, the reagger dot, but then it it still has its buff on because haste is still there. Like it didn't it didn't remove haste, and haste is like thirty seconds or something like that. It's just yeah, it's just sucks. Why do you mess up the colons? <laughs> It happens. So if you don't summon, you can't dodge that. Uh, you can LOS. You can LOS Henry. So, no, it does work. LOS, I can assure you, 100% works because that is my strategy for jobs that do not have stun. We LOS it. You just have to make sure that you're around a, a good enough wall. Well, I mean, all walls are pretty good, but yeah, just make sure you're around a good wall. There is only one move. Well, there's only two moves. Count Nora's 10 eons. Holy crap. 10 eons. Thanks for the 10 eons, dude. There's only two moves in Heaven on High that go through walls. Is it two? I think it's two. It's Infatuation, and it's the AoE from the from the Nightmare Pegasus. You cannot LOS that. I don't know why you can't LOS it, but you can't LOS it. Um, Zig... Zig Rock, Zigly Rocks? Thanks for following with him. <laughs> you call it one. I pulled a griff in the hallway between a room of mimics and a room of mimics and bloom HP. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. English is not my news. I meant if you LOS them, they can. Oh! Oh! No, no, no. Okay. If you LOS it and you don't get hit, they don't get the they don't get the haste. I think they get the haste. Yeah, what Ellie said, they get the haste only if they hit you. For whatever reason, like like honestly, it would seem to make sense that by it just by by the principle of it using Winds of Winter, it should get haste because it wait because it's a buff. But that's not how it works. It just it has to hit something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fight to match that true combo. Hey, look, I got, a, I got a, I mean, I got chest out of it. So. They shoot me that black mage is my main, but there's no point taking it until I'm more comfy and have pots. Yeah, I'm not gonna dispute that. Now, now mixed herbs. I don't remember who it was, but we did have a, we did have someone in the community 
take in Black Mage as their first job because that was their main. And they like they went straight to 170, 180. They didn't clear, but they got pretty damn high, and they were pretty damn skillful in the job. So I wouldn't necessarily dis dis dismiss what Black Mage can do in either Palace or Heaven on High, but in my opinion, you do have to think of that job very differently in here. You have to handle and play that job so uniquely in here. Um, but now I'm not gonna say it's possible. And then we get heads to the hit she just went you can you can sufficiently shield could stop them uh that thing does a lot of damage like it it will near kill you I think it kills you without steel but I don't I think it near kills you with steel so I'm not sure maybe a scholar can pull it off or you can like super like crit Adlo or something but I'm not sure if you can shield through maybe you can like invuln Potentially, but yeah, maybe because it would do zero damage. So I imagine it wouldn't, but I'm not sure. That's a good question. Just for the sake of an experiment. Yeah, mixer. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going for first solo new deep session of black mage condor. I think there was someone else. I think our buddy cryo. Uh, we haven't seen him in a bit. Although he's popped in here and there, I think Cryo was one who proclaims themselves as a Black Mage main, and they want to try to do it as well as like their the the first solo Black Mage. It's gonna be nice to see some competition in different areas. That's that's for sure. Actually, let me change this all. Tacos, let's go. Although, if Henry used Bolide and got hit, and it still got haste, he wouldn't be able to shield it. True. Will Meiji go for first Arcanist? I highly doubt it. Meiji is more than capable of getting a world first. So I'm sure she'll take in her best job, or whatever that might be. Although I don't really see her as a tank though, she might go like Dancer or something. I'm not sure, you'd have to ask her. It's funny because I, I don't I don't see Meiji as a, as a tank player. I mean she's more than capable of playing the tank, but she always plays like other jobs other jobs, so I love you guys trying to go for these experiments. It's gonna be nice. <clears throat> yeah, Meiji cleared on Arcanist in uh Heaven on High Heaven on High, right? And you have a couple job clears in Palace too, Pugilist. I mean, Aurora got a Conjurer in uh, Heaven on High, so... People are just that good. I know. Aurora, I think you're listening, right? I was gonna... I, I, I wanted to mention to you, you should put in your in your ticker, it should say 20 out of 19, not 19 out of 20. Uh, 19 out of 19. It should say 20 out of 19. And then when people ask you, it's like, yeah, well, I cleared on, I, I cleared on Conjure. <laughs> I think that, I think that's honestly fair. <clears throat> the true, the true, the real insanity is when someone shows up with like, was it like it's just like twenty-five out of nineteen or something like that? How many base, how many base jobs do we have? Astro knows the saying is kind of crazy. You think it's kind of crazy, and then Aurora does it. <laughs> and then you're like, wait a minute. Is it really that hard? And then you try it yourself, you're like, yeah, yeah, you know what, it's still hard, yeah. <laughs> Do those jobs even have high scores? Yeah, look at the Aether board. Aurora got a higher score than I did on Conjurer. Pretty funny. I'm only waiting until, like, you know... 20 other people beat my score, then I'm gonna start caring about score, but until that happens, I'll be happy with my 1.3 million. Was there- yeah, and uh, I think- was it Palace? We had a Marauder clear in Palace, I think? <clears throat> I'm not sure about, uh, Heaven on High, but probably. Who's joining for first Blue Mage clear for DD Dungeon? If they bring in Blue Mage, I will go for it. I mean, I kind of like Blue Mage. I mean, not really, but I kind of like Blue Mage. I didn't update my title. 
Oh well. Yeah, it just replaces the old score, that's right. So that's why Aurora is smart. He just goes into a different data center, so it doesn't it doesn't uh it doesn't cross over. Thanks, Ellie, appreciate it. That means a lot coming from you. Look, I even got an intuition. The game the game thought of an intuition. Are you not close enough? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I one shot him. GG! I think that shows how far deep Nod and Nautilus can go in getting clear. Yeah, and and to kind of follow that up, mixed herbs. It makes me wonder when the next one comes in, how much would that knowledge help us? Like, will it mean that we can clear in one go? Or will they make it so challenging that even with our knowledge, we have to still learn and prog, right? Because, like I said, I mentioned this earlier in stream, when Heaven on High came out, you only had two Necromancers, so the knowledge base of, of, um, of Deep Dungeon certainly was n nowhere near what it is now. And thus we still have to learn and you know, all that stuff, but what it is now is insane. And you wonder how much that translates. And then the, the, the comparison I made one time ago was how I think how they handle Ultimate, right? Because their, their, their initial idea with the current Ultimate was that they were trying to accommodate for players getting better at this game. So they made it, I guess, rel at least what they thought was harder for, for gamers to go for. So you wonder if they'll take that same approach for the next Deep Dungeon, that they'll accommodate for the fact that we've gotten so, be so, much, so much better at this mode that they'll just ramp up the difficulty. My test is going to be amazing. You mean the one coming up or the Deep Dungeon patch? I was I was waiting I was wanting to play 14 again after that deep dungeon comes out but I saw we have three free game time until June. Uh, so over there right now yeah 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 to the end of June. Ah. Uh... Oh if the oh if the next deep dungeon has wall traps. <laughs> yeah the dare band videos will be way more important. You're trying to get hey Hazel. Hazel, I got you. Today I'm gonna talk about time management when we step into one when we step into 61. So if you're gonna be around till then, or maybe check out the VOD, we'll talk about time management. I'm still missing raisins. You hope they don't have a transfiguration trap? Oh, there's gonna be a transfiguration trap, it's gonna last 40 seconds. And it's gonna be cute as hell though. Hey Spellcaster, I see you. Give me a second. <laughs> Fine. It's a good thing I didn't use my uh, thingy yet. Uh, I always wondered what could make you... What what made me not use a mouse? FF11 made me not use a mouse spellcaster. FF11 had really bad mouse support. <clears throat> and I learned how to play that MMO with just the keyboard. And going from Final Fantasy to Final Fantasy, my very first thought was, can I play this game like I did in 11? And the answer, short answer was yes. And that's why I'm, I'm like this. I'm weird. What if Brandy Coppers from Intuition turn into hard versions of Mimics, but those Mimics can guarantee three chest shops? I mean, that would kind of make Intuitions a little bit more better. Angelotomus? You want a mini version of me? I don't, I don't think anyone wants a mini version of me. Don't know if we spoke about it here, but it's interested in trying... Yeah, yeah, you said the remaster, right? Oh, the remake, Jason. I think I would be. Especially because it's a turn-based uh, tactics thing, I might try it. I think it would be appropriate for the stream too. We can make it so any spot in the room could have a trap. Yeah, I think hallway traps would be tragic. I've always wanted to try 11, but I think 14 is enough. Well, 11 right now, it's tough. It's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely, you know, out of date, I would say. I mean, 14 is certainly that modern MMO, but 
It's still a good game, even retail is still a good game. Yeah, I'm old. I'm old, yeah. I'm really old. <laughs> I've been around the block. You should do some other- some otter emotes. You said it- yeah, I know. But then I have to find an artist and I need to figure out what it's gonna be, so. <clears throat> But I'll keep it in mind. FF Boomer? I am. Although I've, I've played FF since 7. Even though I technically could have played since 1, but I never got into Final Fantasy when I was a kid. I only got into, F I only got into Final Fantasy with FF7. <clears throat> I did finish Dwerve! It is up actually on the other channel if you ever want to check it out. And, and by the way, if anyone ever wants to check out me playing Variety, it's on the second channel because I separated from, my, from the main stuff. <clears throat> but I did beat it, it is uploaded. Pretty good, pretty good. My only complaint was that uh, it had a lack of a soundtrack because uh, when we finished up the game, I wanted to play out the credits, especially because it's an indie game. You know, I, I felt like it was important for that. But like, we went through like like 15 minutes of credits, and it was just like dead silence. And I was just like, okay, well, this is kind of awkward. And then like a lot of the a lot of the later le later levels didn't really have much of a soundtrack either. So this is kind of awkward. I kind of wish they had a little bit more of that, but it's still a good game. It's still polished. You know, a lot of times even like, even AAA games aren't even polished, so it's a good thing that that game was nice and polished, playable, no real- I had one... Did I have a glitch? No, I didn't have a glitch. I had a glitch in Yangard, but I didn't have a glitch in uh, that one. Pretty good. Are you playing since Super Nintendo? I've been playing since Nintendo. But not a, not an FF, I didn't play FF1 when I played FF1. Oh, I never played FF1, rather. When 1 and 2 on Game Boy Advanced. Nice. I'm turning 47 this year. I'm not that old. Uh, I am freaking old, but I'm not that old. I'm like 46. <laughs> I'm not 46. Do, 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 do. We're just saying the five, five floors per set, but they're multi-level. Have balconies, coves, and palaces to explore other than the boxes. You know what I would like? I mean, that's not a terrible idea, but you know what I would like, uh, Southerner? To take- to take what they've done with Ultimate, and how you're changing arenas instantly without any zoning in, and that would be your floor transition. So it maybe would feel like a giant floor, or maybe you're, you're using portals to, trans to, to transfer yourself and, and stuff like that. So it, so you may be traversing through floors, but actually you're like going, you're just in one giant room or something. That might be kind of cool. So you don't have the, well one, you don't have the uh, animation kind of thing here with the exits and stuff, but two, it kind of makes it more seamless. I think that'd be kind of cool. P PS4, PS4 would explode? <laughs> Well, that's why, by the time it comes out... By the time it comes out, PS4s will be obsolete. Yo, Blazin, thanks for follow. You want puzzles? You're a puzzle slut. Got it. Okay, hear me out. Okay, math boss, but with quadrants like P1. Health edition is permanent, so three rows in shorter succession. In short success. Short succession. I mean, I don't mind that. Just give me more, uh, just give me more mechanics in this game, in the deep dungeon. 10 tile sets per set. Unique trap locations to each one, but they all look like PT cave layouts. <laughs> Ellie, what color are the caves? I just thought, why do we get the feeling that new deep dungeon will be some monstrosity to offer its design? Because they have creation magic and they're the only ones that actually live with creation magic, unless you go back to the past. Or you do something like, uh, you do something like the raids where it's like, you get this like, you get like, freaking what, Azim's crystal or something, and you get, you get, you get ported into Elpis again. But Lollipurts are the only ones alive in, in the current dimension that can do creation magic, right? So, they can make anything they want. Yella? What a terrible color, dude. Why would you want piss colored caves? What's wrong with you? Just 
spoilers. <laughs> That's why you should have done main story, Sig. Yellow enjoy the shambles. Well, I don't call I don't call the yellow beam piss color. I call the caves piss color. There's a difference. I love I love when people I love Ellie when when you come in aggressive with the question marks it really emphasizes your displeasure. <laughs> Always makes me laugh when I see it. Could have been sun colored. We can't look at the sun. You get your eyes burned out. So we don't know what color it is. Otherwise, your eyes are burned out. Spoiling way. That's when you have done something good. Necromancing way. Someone was saying, what is it, Climbing Way? That was the one earlier, and I think that, that's kind of cool. I'm glad Anger amuses me. It does sometimes, yeah. Oh. He died in one shot and I have Innervation on. What if the 490 boss would still be Phoenix and P3S? I don't mind, just give me harder mechanics. I mean, like, the Boja duels were very good examples of difficult mechanics. I would like that. Those are like, savage-like mechanics. Twisters, Exaflares, Earthquakes... I hate the piss case only because all the mobs are, are, are effing yellow too. Fair. Whether the capes are Dragoon Blue. It's fine with me. As long as we can jump on the rocks. Like, that was the one that sucked about the higher floors in the palace. Is that you no longer had the ability to jump on the rocks. Why do we have so many Mimics? There's so many Mimics, what the hell? Instant kill mechanics you can only avoid with jumping. Uh, I'm not sure about that, because that's gonna- that's gonna be bad for people with high ping. I'm not sure if you want- I'm not sure if you want that to happen. Ooh, Petri. Okay, well, I don't have raising yet though, so there's that. Oh, that's great. At least you can interrupt them for once. I know. Not if I start chaining them, but yeah. <clears throat> that one boss in Omega where you get Gravity Gizmo. That was fun. The boss where you have to expert craft a 100 to turn in before the timer ends. You know, I've always actually wanted PvP to introduce crafting. That you had to craft on the run, you know, like speed craft. I thought that would be so awesome, but that's never gonna happen. Do you think just be crafting gathering to challenge? I wouldn't mind, I like crafting gathering to actually mean something in this game, for once. <laughs> Why? Is there a trap there? <clears throat> People bot craft? Not if you have to dodge enemies on top of it. It's not even a frog. Fix your emo. You have some otter butt. Oh shit. Run away! I'm trying my hardest, got it. Not until you hum did I realize. Oh! <laughs> you know what's you know what sucked though, Ava? Ava? 
I tried putting in the original festival of the hunt from FF9. Copyright claim. Copyright claim. Sad day. They've already raised autocraft to be like, yeah. I think New World with heavy crafting base would be, you know, game time. Oh. Oh, New World with Heavy Crafting. Yeah, how is that game doing? Is that game really just, like, just non-existent anymore? Does no one play it anymore? I have and haven't been hit, although that was, that was Twitch only. Oh, Twitch won't do it. YouTube. Uh, LA YouTube does. Twitch, I've been pretty clean with a lot of my music. Actually, the only song I've ever had hit on Twitch was a Crisis Core song. I forgot which one, but I had a Crisis Core song in my playlist that would trigger Twitch, and it would mute my bot. But I've never really had too much on Twitch in general. But YouTube? Yeah, YouTube gets a little angry. Oh, very weird. Let me tell you. Very weird. Well, to be fair, Square Enix does have all of the Final Fantasy tracks free for you to listen to on YouTube. So in essence, you are taking it from another video, therefore that's why there's a copyright claim, and I get it. But... I think there's other- there's other things to it or something like that. New World is disappointing and grindy. I heard it was great at the beginning, but then once you got to endgame, that's where it kind of collapsed for a lot of people. I don't remember the last time I heard someone mention New World. Yeah, same. I have one or two streamers that I that I kind of visit on and off that used that went pretty hard on New World, and they have never gone back. I've seen people get back into Guild Wars recently, Guild Wars Two recently, then like ever think about New World. Wish they were non-existent, but yeah, they were invigorated. Yeah. Hyperinflation, hyperdeflation, less than a month. Game can't recover from that. Yeah. Do you know if the manual claim or auto uh, auto claim? It it I think it's usually when it comes to me it's an auto claim, Ava. Um, I don't think it's manual because I only play the song for like two minutes. I don't play it for the entire thing. I mean, at most I played for like three, like five minutes, but it's definitely an auto claim. If someone goes through my seven hour vod to manual claim stuff in my thing, I- I gotta commend them, dude. <laughs> they need a prize. At least they gave me all the ad revenue. You know, all- all three cents of that ad revenue. Commend you? I'd say you gotta do. G2 just had an expansion? Oh, is that why? Uh, dude, I- I don't play G2, but I just know a lot of people are getting into it. Yeah, thanks, Sig. Thanks for ruining my ad revenue, dude. Literally the only way I earn money on YouTube. Actually, it's not the only way I could earn money, but no one uses the other feature, so... <laughs> no one uses the other feature, so it's alright. I'll survive. What in the wor- Oh my god. No, my Twitch is yours. We never talked about YouTube. That's a different story, dude. That's a whole different story. <laughs> you can take my variety channel. You want my variety channel? You gotta put a lot of work into it, because it still needs a lot of work. You got it? Sweet. You need a me otter plushie? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if people want that. Maybe. Although they sell- we have to make it really unique though, that's the thing. Oh, we're not out yet? Oh, but you dropped the chest. What a- what an ass place to drop the chest. Although I think this is why I got the, uh... Otter minions are great. They're pretty cool. I like the, uh, a broader otter. That one's kind of cool. This is a strength, right?
<coughs> FF7 hook is in the name. The mod loader for FF7R was updated two days ago for Steam usage. Nice. I didn't get I didn't hear back about my code yet though. Probably take a little bit. I'm still under review. The one for fishing, yeah. A chat box that says, really a trap there? Yeah, then I'll blame Daraban for not showing me where the trap was. We'll just blame Daraban for that. You should have told me, dude. <laughs> God, why did you backseat me? What's wrong with you? Oh, I didn't Peloton. Biggest tragedy of my life, I didn't Peloton before Conceal. Now I have to move at normal movement speed. What a... What a horrible existence I have. In between the legs. Do you know there's a trap there? I do now. <laughs> Hashtag damn it, Derivan. I like that one. Hashtag damn it, Derivan. Hey, wouldn't it be funny, guys? Didn't they, uh, didn't they change in PvP Ninja? Where, like, if you were hidden in PvP Ninja, if you sprinted, you would get kicked out of hide. Wouldn't it be hilarious if all of a sudden, when you used Conceal and you sprinted, it, kick you, it kicked you out? Just out of some, like, weird-ass, like, coincidence? It's like, wait, wait a minute. That'd be hilarious. Thankfully, it doesn't do that. You forgot he had leg raise and foot raise? Oh, they're really good. They're good in a pinch. They're good in a pinch. I think it was just that you couldn't- you can't- you can't sprint while hidden. Oh, is it you can't sprint or you just get kicked- I thought you got kicked out of it or something. Back to the old grind, time to reset and head back in. Om nom, good luck, dude. Not sure. Yeah, I mean, I- I- I'm not gonna do it myself. I don't play ninja, so I just wouldn't know. Oh, it's Fifty Shades of Orange. Nice. I love that movie. Best movie ever. Fifty Shades of Orange. I like seeing the weird slow motion running animation in Conceal. Gotcha. The necromancer with the dragon tattoo. <laughs> oh, thank you. Although Jason, I don't know. See, here's the thing. I'm such a vanilla type player. I don't. I can't imagine myself modding FF7. So, but I do appreciate it though. I'm kind of weird like that. I wouldn't show. I wouldn't stream it modded. Let's just put it that way. I wouldn't stream it modded. That seems like really weird. Good off stream modded though. Just to restore the panties for Tifa and Eric. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Thanks for sharing with the class. I'm sure someone appreciated. Where's Steel? <laughs> Can we stop? Thanks. This is great. I, I, I love this right now. I think it's the same trap I hit too, it's a bit sad. <laughs> did, did you know? <laughs> yeah, it could be literally any other trap, but no, it's, it's the otter trap that I'm getting. So. So. I thought about aggroing this and trying to un-otter, but I don't know how long it does it. I don't know how long I'd have to wait. Um, okay, I really should check chests because I don't have raising, so we're gonna go check chests. Against against my desires, my own personal desires. Oh. I wish they did damage! Because 
Like, you know what is so awesome about FF7 Remake? When you turned into a frog, your frog would be the character that it turned into, and then you could still do things. You can shoot bubbles, and you can, like, jump on people. Like, even if it was so, like, pointless damage, at least it would still be kind of cool. You know? Oh, I can, like, I can, like, jump on someone. Hi, Chila, good morning. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's treasure. We take the lazy path. Aram, hello, good to see you. Frailty. Potion. Sleepy? I'm pretty good. I'm ready to clear on dancer. Go this way. <clears throat> Back to 161 plus after a few dumb mistakes. Wish you luck. Wishing you luck, dude. Have some. Of I don't need luck today, so have some of that. I actually don't need luck this week because um, we're gonna go warrior this week, so I don't need luck. Thanks for shouting out our buddy Chila. She was strumming this weekend, Saturday and Sunday morning. If you're if you're in the uh, NA crew like I am. Elden. She was doing Elden for two days, but she does do a lot of deep dungeons. You're an awesome person, that's why. Are we racing, Hazel? Are we racing you and me? Are we gonna get to... who's gonna get to 100 first? Hey, it's first time, Southerner, you know? You still got a frog. I mean, once you get used to things, it's a little different, but... News boss? No, 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 it's Fart Cloud. Fart Cloud, that's the name of this thing. It's a Fart Cloud. You in 446? Okay, I'll try to catch up. I'm almost there, I'm at 40 now. Don't call it that. Don't call it a Fart I mean, it is a Fart Cloud. Look at this thing. Don't make fun of him. <laughs> I'm not making fun of him. How, why are you implying a fart cloud is making fun of it? Would that not be actually making fun of a fart cloud? By saying that- by implying that it is actually a... a negative comment? Also right-handed. You forgot about this guy you contacted about the music. Thing. Oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, apologize all the far cut. Yeah. Oops, I double weaved by accident. You should follow up. Yeah. It's like I forget to follow up with people all the time. He's bad. Ordering a remix? Ooh, cool. Dead Cloud. Oh, I'm I forgot to keep dude, I'm updating my title every 20 floors, it's kinda sad. Will they use a bench twofold again next deep dungeon? I don't think they'll use the orchestration because it's it's ultimate thing, but I do hope they retain Red Revenge twofold because I feel like that's a deep dungeon song now. I don't feel like that's a Heaven's Ward dungeon thing. I think that's a deep dungeon thing now. So I would love him to do that, but if they don't, I hope they use Finality because Finality is epic. That's one of the better that's one of the better if not best boss themes of the of the regular dungeons in my opinion. Um I would love Finality to be played over Revenge twofold, but if not, I hope it's revenge twofold. Finality is so dramatic, and it's such it's like the boss theme in my opinion. It has been, yeah. Well, personally, I don't like the raid music, but that's me. It's okay. I mean, no matter what your title is, true. <laughs> that piano, yeah. 
Oh guys, okay, so we're gonna be saying this a couple times, and I really would like you guys to participate. We are taking questions. Um, <clears throat> here's the scenario, okay? Here's the scenario. Hold on. Here's the scenario. You're either- you, yourself, are the streamer, 171, 181, 191, or you're watching a, a new streamer trying to go for the title. And the environment is like they're asking questions. You're asking questions about, what am I doing? What palms do I use? How do I go? So what are the questions that are common that you either would ask yourself or that you have answered and tried to help the streamer? And that's what we're trying to collect, those questions. And we're trying to see if there's a commonality between them, if there's popular ones people like to ask. We're going to try to do something with that in the future. So if you can think of anything uh, that comes to mind, drop it in that survey and it would really help us out. Sugar? Wait, why sugar? Can we ask advanced questions? No, anything. Anything you think of. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to sift it through. Me and the mods are going to sift it through, see what's what's pertinent, what we think is something that's really, really good. But don't feel restricted. Don't feel like, ah, this is a little too simple. Ah, this is not really part of the thing. Ah, this is too advanced. No, 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 don't think like that. Just drop it in there because you never know. Something like that might, might spawn into something else that we didn't think of. Like maybe you ask question A, but in reality it led into question B, C, D, if that makes sense. Ben! Mobile hey. lurking during groceries, but wishing you all the luck. Oh, yo, I know how that feels, Ben. I do that all the time in the mornings. Yo, shoutouts to our buddy Ben, who is working hard on his Necromancer title. And he has a PB of, I believe, it's 195. Awesome. Yo, Ben, thanks for the continued support. Thank you for the three months. I appreciate that. Good man over there, guys. Check him out. Nothing is too simple for your single brain cell. <laughs> Oh, it's going. It's time for the last easy floor. Men is pretty okay. Turbo. Steel. Good start. We are missing raisins though. I don't have any raisins. I never looked up. We are missing raisins. <laughs> Nice, nailed it. Just for enough. Not a single one. I've checked all the chests. I haven't skipped anything. Slightly concerning, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, if this is going to be a tutorial later on, we're going to do a time management discussion later. Once I step into 61. If we're, if we're talking about that, then we shouldn't die, right? I mean... We should just get to the end, duh. Just don't die. Oh, you actually dropped the chest. <laughs> Shouldn't I spam it? I could, yeah. I mean, especially the uh, the affluence I could, which I probably will, because I have three. Oh yeah, I could. Al alteration though is interesting. I could probably do alteration as well, yeah. It's like I feel like I'm not that desperate yet. Like I would be desperate for magicites. For raisings, it's like, eh, you know, eh, eventually it'll come. <laughs> oh shit. Don't die, don't time out. Yeah, that's my advice, man. So let's set that up, shall we? Although I don't like uh, fortunes though. Although I could do a fortune if I'm gonna snook a whole floor, but I typically don't do that on these runs. I usually save my uh, my fortune for a magicite nuke. I always feel bad doing it otherwise. Does Hermit not get bad debuffs? True. Actually a lot of times when I use Affluence I get no items all the time. It's like a thing. It's so common. Petri! There are times when I've used a fortune, Ellie, with the thought of like utilizing it as such. 
and then I never see it for like a long time, and then I go to zero fortune because I kept picking up Magicites, and then I hate myself. <laughs> I'm like, well, whatever. Oh, well then of course you get the uh, the BM the BM fortune, where the game's like, yeah, you should have used the fortune, you dumbass. Like, okay, fine, whatever. I get it. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Point ticker. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oh, that too. Overkill. I wonder since UHB has now been made aware of ping issues, will they what will they plan to do about it? He was made aware of ping issues, but are they gonna- are they really- do they still think it's not an issue? I'm, I'm not sure. Dude, wasn't the answer like, wait, there's ping issues? Like, wasn't that his answer? And then it kind of just ended there? It's kind of like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, that would be how I would put it too. It's like, you know, aware. You know? So... Yeah, Chila, you should lead a charge, man. Being in the JP, being the fact that you can go over to Yoshi P's house and knock on his door and give him a piece of your mind, you should be able to uh, convince him otherwise. What is that first chest? Oh, <laughs> the pet. Wait, oh wait, I picked up another Petri at some point. Oh, when the hell did I pick up another Petri? The hell? Or was this the chest I just didn't pick up? No, that was another Petri. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was, a, that was two Petris, one match side in this war. You don't understand how they never test that? I don't understand how they never test it either. What's up, Pin? <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't understand how, like, he never once thought about making a character in, like, NA from his position. Unless he has, like, super fiber or something. That, like bypasses the ping issue. Wait. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Okay. Yay, Garlemon! I know, I love this song. Garlemon Express. Oh, I got two. There's just so many patrol, hello? Okay. Uh... Got my safety back. Okay, we'll go all types. You've only in DC. You've only once DC'd from 14 and all four years you've lived here. Weren't you having some stream issues earlier, Chila? Like the rare times your your stream was kind of being weird. <coughs> I don't have to go this way. Gotcha. Yeah, it was a little interesting. Wait, that was yesterday, I think. That was yesterday. Three times two. Yeah, it's very that's very rare for you.
I complain about lag every few days. I don't think I'll need to keep doing it today when you guys have it covered. Yep, we got it covered. Stuff, quote unquote stuff. Does anyone know how Corrigan Count decided? Our mobs spawn and then run. Yep, that's basically how it goes, Southerner. It's, I mean, that is by the that, that is what the alteration definition is. It takes a room and changes the enemies to mimics or corrigans. So whether it has two, four, or treasure room, then it depends. But uh, I'm pulling this. He's coming with me. Wait, bait the line. Why does Seaman get more mobs than a treasure room? That that might just be chance. I mean, I feel like it's been pretty balanced on my end, but that's just chance. Are you kidding me? I must have bumped my head in his crotch or something. That's where a Lollapel would have been useful. The one time a Lollapel would have been useful. It's like... When they name the next day dungeon, we got... Oh, I don't know. I hope it's something I can pronounce pretty well. Otherwise, I'm still calling them Corrigans. <clears throat> Pygmy always, I don't even pronounce them that way, because... Corrigans are so much easier to pronounce. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Sig. I didn't know that- I didn't know that Ellie has a limit on her profanity. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, stop. How did you not see me? What in the world? You call them Mandy's? I call them Mandy's too, sometimes. So even the words- oh, I see. So you're yelling at your screen as we speak, but you just can't type it out. Got it. Okay, I understand. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What's up, mortal? Nice entry. Man, these nuts. Oh, it's not step on the trap. What is that, frailty? Sure. Still missing like damn raising. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a patrol. Okay, well. Oh, that's the exit. Let's go back. Is he facing this way? Well, I didn't even know if his face or his back was facing me from that stone dude. Get to the last room. What is the other one? What is the other chest? I have no idea what the other chest is. Okay, cool. Peloton should be illegal. Why should it be illegal? I mean, everyone can play the job they want. To. It's so nice. I mean, then you should ban Ninja, because Ninja just has permanent Peloton. 
kind of. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go here yet, so let's do that. Purity, love it. Whoa. Scholar having Expedient? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 90 Scholar is gonna have Expedient. Is Expedient combat only though? I have no idea. Or can you use it whenever? I've never touched 90 Scholar. It's at any time. Oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna be so good. What's the cooldown? 60 seconds? It's like 10 seconds, right? Duration is 10 seconds. Oh, two minutes. Okay, that's not bad. I heard something. Oh god. Okay, well that's fine. Did mods from open worlds get put into the dungeon, or did the dungeon put- I uh, the former. The former. Mobs from the open world were put into deep dungeon. Actually, I've been told that some of the higher level enemies, like the Gozus for instance, they have mechanics that hunts have. And the hunts were there first, and then they got pulled into here. Ban Ninja, Ban Peloton, the Return of Red Mage Supremacy. <laughs> I'm with Ben. I'm with Ben, dude. Let's, let's, bring, let's bring Red Mage back to the king of deep dungeon. We need that era once more. Goes up, Thea. Why'd you move? No Astro? Yeah, true. Astro is actually too strong. Clearly proven by uh, by Aurora. Need to make it. Need to make it more difficult. It's not hard enough. I gotta really get comfy. My, my neck is getting strained for some reason. I just go this way. I lean back and relax and talk loud. Because I can't bring my microphone any closer to my mouth. Damn it, damn it, immortal! You know, this could have been a raising, and then you're like channel points, and then the chest just spawned into a intuition. It's all your fault, dude. Astro over 2 needs needs to heal enemies instead of <laughs> Can you imagine that? <coughs> Follow him? Right. Good, you, can, you, you made the raisings feel not lonely right now. Wow. Steal? Uh, I'll come back for it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. My crit. Okay. Nothing here. Time to get steel. You met us to befriend the monsters and convince them to let you pass. <laughs> You just have you just have negotiation you just have negotiation uh, conversations with them. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like uh, like like Fire Emblem where you have to have tea with them and you have to you have to give them the appropriate response so they can be happy. DD visual novel, yeah. Safety. You're coming with me. Why did you aggro? What in the world, dude? I was walking the whole time. I just want to play. Which mob to romance? Chimera, duh.
Oh, Anzu? Well, Chimeras you get from the beginning, though. That's why they're nice. You get them from floor 1. Jump aggro with sound enemies. Yeah, but it doesn't always act. Okay, let's walk up to- let's do that on another- let's do it on another worm, okay? We'll do it on this one, you ready? Alright, I'm gonna jump- I'm gonna jump constantly in front of this worm. Why did he give a shit last time? He doesn't give a shit now, but he doesn't care. Like, dude, I'm literally jumping, like, next to him, he doesn't care. I'm even dashing. Okay, well that one works. <laughs> I don't understand. Why did the second one work and not the first one? What? Dude, I don't understand. I, dude, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand these things sometimes, you know? Alright, see, I'm jumping. Look at me, I'm jumping. I know, yeah, it is broken. Okay, that one I actually auto-attacked it, so that's fine. But like, I don't understand why I did... I did that last time. Oh, did I not kill you? Oh, direct hit crit, damn. When you're fishing, you might try to cast on the hour of the window, it usually snapshots instead of... Like, he casts, but... I don't know, it's the same thing, though. Slight... short. A lot of chests here, I'm gonna pull you. Okay. No, Hazel, no! I'm sorry, Hazel. What killed you? I'll get- I'll get the revenge later. I'll get revenge for you. What got you? Optimal laziness. See ya! No one sees me. Bye-bye. Um, Sight Strength. This is Steel, I think. Steel. I went for Yell and turned into an as I as I, I go to- oh no. That's why you don't go for Yellow. It's a Strength- oh that's a con- wait! I didn't realize I had another Conceal. <laughs> Yeah, why would you go for yellow, Jesus? It was too tempting? No, it's not good enough. Shrink. <laughs> I BM that, uh, BM that enemy. I bat- I dashed so fast he couldn't see me. It's too- oh, I- I started with a lot of Titan. And then we got like Ifrit and Garuda showing up, so to be fair, we did have a lot of it. Jesus. Oops, sorry. Smash my microphone. Okay, Mimic. Nope. Uh, I guess I'll pull like three. And one shot one of them, nice. Clean. Oh, this is the exit. Uh, let me check the silver and then get out of here. I need to check the uh, other room.
Okay. Oh, I might get a speed run. Yo, let's go. Does it work like... Reaver? Uh, what do you mean? In what sense? You love this song, such a great lurker jam. It's a good song. Oh, is it? No, yeah, you're still visible. It's not a teleport, if that's what you're asking. Hey guys, buy some coffee. It's good stuff. A lot of people in chat can actually confirm. I have a conceal, right? Let's just use it. Petri. The only, I mean, I don't have a fortune, so it doesn't really work out for me as well. <clears throat> Done hassling Darian. Good. I'm glad you hassled her. She deserves the hassle. What's she playing? Is she playing Genshin today? Or is she doing 14? Darian Hart, our team drifter, team leader. Good, good, good friend of mine. Good person overall. Fourteen zodiac zodiac. Interesting. Interesting choice of activity today for her. <laughs> oh well, you guys should have done main story. Duh. Respect the gaze. Respect the gaze. You're parked here. No, no, she's on Aether. Darian only has uh, one character. Or rather, she's only on one data center, she's on Aether, so totally meant uh, the fight. Laser beam. Okay, Gaze coming out. That's a little early. Can you cover the spoiler? Yeah, get wrecked, dude. How's it feel, man? How's it feel? I got lucky. I have- it's okay, I have NA ping, it's fine. I have East Coast ping. If I had West Coast ping, I'd be screwed. I'd be super dead. Your zodiac side is Libra. Hacker <laughs> confirmed, yeah, that's right. If I was on JP with JP ping, I'd have a. Uh... I'd be like super speed. Alright! Going down. I mean, 50 down, sorry. 51 coming. <clears throat> I'm trying to farm Heaven on High, Aether Pull, but it seems no one wants to queue. Do it solo. Be faster. Probably. You probably could have done a run before uh, your queue came up, to be fair. I should get more water. Hold on. Wait, did I finish this one? I, did. Okay. I live on the Square Next server building for better ping. Disconnects happen when the game also crashes. On the Square Next server building? 
That's like a pretty neat place. I do know where the Square Enix building is in LA, but I'm not. I'm nowhere near LA. It's like by the airport, I think. By uh, LAX, you see the Square Enix building. I always, th I always think that's cool. They're right by the. They're right by the airport. Airport. And I, I, I think that's the main one. I don't know if there's like another one, but I, I randomly duo twenty one to eighty with a random PF. Oh, cool. All right, let's let's. Oh, let me do this first one. Okay, let's food up. I want a food for 51. 61, by the way, guys. Once I step into 61, we're actually going to convert this into a time management type of thing. So we'll talk a little bit about how to get through the floors in a time efficient manner. Figure that might be a good thing to do here because I already did the run technically last week. And I was kind of in the mood to do it today. So this will be like the last chill floor, if you will. And then we'll talk about how to go fast on a fizz range. This should basically apply to like Machinist and Bard as well, but we'll do it on Dancer. But for now, we be chillin'. Negative, we're gone. Always gotta say dual theme of bot. Dual theme is dual theme is good. It's like one of the first time I think this was one of the first remix songs, I think, that I could recall. I mean I'm sure there were others, but I mean technically speaking you can call the uh you can call um the binding coil one kind of a remix of like answers, but this is kind of the first remix theme that I remember them having and it was really cool. It took me a while to realize what this was a remix of, and I'm like, oh, this is an awesome song, let's go. The remix theme... That stands out is the Eureka Faith theme. Is that a remix? It's not the old like F like 1.0 music. Oh, my neck feels just kind of not great. Sorry. So if I like move my neck around, it just doesn't feel too comfortable right now. Even when I sit back. So I keep doing Peloton when my camera zoomed in. It's like a bright light. It like annoys me too, but I'm just like doing it by accident. I don't want any more. I don't want any DOT enemies here. Easy kill. So you can't LOS chest explosions? Yeah, you can't LOS chest explosions, that's right. There you go, evidence. Got 
got my switch set up for a totally legit early free hopes release when it happens. Wait, do I need to delete the bot again? You know how many times you've made me delete my bot, Jason? I thought we talked this over, dude. Oh god damn it, 50 shades of orange again. I hate this movie. It movie's so dumb. Way too long. Talks about nothing. Way too many people. Okay. Ah. I hit the wrong button. Lol. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Ah, good old diadem. Good memories. Did I watch Zebla solo? I hell, I sure as hell did. I was there, cheering her on. She did awesome. She got Behemoth down to oh, I missed. She got Behemoth down to like two percent on her very first attempt. Gamer, dude, that is not easy at all. One of the hardest things you're gonna do in this game. Oh, 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 oh. More Nagas wanna play. Even more Nagas want to play. Does she have a macro? Nope! Shit. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. She didn't use- she didn't have the macro. She was told about it, but she didn't- she didn't put it in. And then, I don't think she dumped Thrill, and I think uh, the interesting about that is I didn't dump Thrill. And I never talked about that, I think, in my video until, like, after. Because I didn't realize I didn't I didn't take Thrill out. So, yeah, that's the thing. Dude, this is, like, not fun. Are you surprised she's still doing- Really? That's her main. That's what she considers her main job. Um, and she had- she had gotten to 171 on Machinist with a duo, and she probably just didn't like the way it played. So she's probably just super comfy- comfy on- on- on Warrior. And heck, dude, she got to 180, and she was at 2% on Behemoth. I mean, that- that probably gives her even more reason to stay on Warrior. You know? Like, I- I could almost imagine that run alone convinced her to stay Warrior to get it on Warrior. And there are very few people in the world who have gotten Necromancer by a warrior, so it's kind of a cool accomplishment. Is that five in a row? Yeah, and there's a sixth one. <laughs> Did you want more Naga? Because there are more Nagas. Yeah, 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 yeah. She didn't know, like, the rotation, so it's okay. Kid, yeah, you know, Derivan's so true too. Like, someone should point that out to her. That That's gonna give her a lot of confidence, that she actually could've one-shot it. That's insane. When you think about it, that's insane, dude. Yeah, that's... mind-boggling. She didn't even have- she didn't even have all the tools, too, that we- that we try to make it easier and stuff. She just went in and just did it. Oh, she is a gamer. She's a hell of an entertainer, clearly, but she knows how to play this game to extreme to extreme levels compared to like really the larger amount of this of this player base, in my opinion. Yeah, this is a floor for sure. I might have to actually heal myself. It's funny because my mind like turns on a switch once I start having to use like Empyrean potions. Uh, so once that happens, I just start chugging them. But until then, I'm kind of in like, like, it, like it's like my whole game plan shifts once I start using potions. I become a lot more careful, a lot more cautious. Until then, it's just kind of whatever, you know, rechat all the time, all that fun stuff. But.
Um, I have a feeling she was in the rotation mode of of um the Charybdis is dropping and how she was going north to south. Because bear in mind, first time ever seeing Behemoth solo. Now you can watch a video, you can be there in a party. Heck, even in a party, that's not even going to be accurate, right? Because in a party, you probably don't even see that many that many meteors. But I bet she heard her mind, at least how I was viewing it as I was watching it. She she was in this kind of like in and out in and out type of rotation with um, the pattern of, of Behemoth. So it was like two trib this is, and then it was a thunderball. So she probably felt the thunderball was coming in. That's probably why she ran away instinctively. And she had been consistently running away from the Thunderbolt. When in reality, it actually is better if you stand dead center, so you don't lose the uptime. But you could actually still maintain uptime if you go in, but anyway, that's details. Um, but, yeah, I think it was in her mind that, that kind of cadence rotation that she was used to. And she's gonna know better now. I mean, now that her next time up, she's gonna know that, that she can just stay in, you know? Yeah, it was tight, but again, that was also, I would say, the lack of experience, of knowing how long it was going to take you. Um, like, so on and so forth, saving the loss when you need to. Like, that's that's something that a vet would know, because you can map it out, you can do the math, but... Yeah, so it's just okay. I mean, again, that, that first time is just... an unbelievable attempt. Um, and that isn't that isn't being kind or anything. I think anyone who's done Deep Dungeon solo is going to agree with me that it is one hell of an attempt that happened. Knowing what everything you need to put into that just to get just to keep the human that close is just wild. You lost it into tr <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know my very first um, I was on Monk back in Heaven's Ward. I think it was Heaven's Ward. I got to 180 in Heaven's Ward on Monk. It's either that or Shadowbringers, but I, th I think it was Heaven's Ward. I, I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, no, actually, I'm almost certain it was Heaven's Ward. Anyway, I was setting up my Lust, and I got greedy on the Lust, and I got hit. So it was. I always do it on the north, on the south side, right? So it does Charybdis, Charybdis, Thunderbolt, third Charybdis. And I was setting up my Lust, and I got hit by the third Charybdis and instantly died. <laughs> That was my monk experience. I didn't even have a chance to burst because I just died on Trib just setting up lust. It felt really sad. Because I was so pumped, I'm like, oh right, we got this sick burst on, on, uh, on monk, I'm gonna blow this thing up and I just die on lust. I'm like, oh my god. Hate my life. But it happens, you know. And then my very first samurai in, in Behemoth, very first one, I think it might have been Shadowbringers. I stood in front of Behemoth. I um I uh, set up the whole thing. I had Madari ready to go, you know, Kaiten Madari, but I was in front of Behemoth, and Meteor drops, it smacks me, and I instantly die. That's it. I didn't even have a chance to test out the Samurai Burst. And that was my last, that was like my one run from like, you know, doing it again like, like Shadowbringers or something. That was in Stored Blood. Yeah, that was kind of sad. So, you know, it happens. Nerves get to you, not getting used to it, but trying to keep everything straight in your brain is extremely hard. Like, like, if you run down a list of things you need to do for Behemoth, you get one of them wrong, the run could be thrown, right? Setting up the setting up the burst, testing the macro, doing Lust, doing a sustaining potion before Lust, making sure you don't second win, making sure you don't potion. If you have certain jobs, you want to manage your buffs. Um, making sure you don't get hit with AoEs, making sure you get the position, making sure you time it at the right time, making sure you don't push it too early. Like... All of that is like a large laundry list of things you need to do, and you mess up one of them, the run is over. <laughs> like, well, shit. <laughs> you push it too early, run's over. You lust incorrectly without the sustaining, you could have very well thrown the run because you have the extra heal. You do a super potion or a second win before your burst, your heal's done. You know, it's just, it's incredible how very, very, very precise that strategy really needs to be. But it is what makes it fun. So what's up, Shinano? Just casually 13 towers down drain. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Just, just go back in the next day, duh. Just carve out another 13 hours of your life trying to climb this thing. What's the big deal? I think that's gonna aggro. I'm gonna go this way. God damn it! Okay. 
So I've decided that my damage feels really low on bosses sometimes. I'm afraid I won't be able to burst down 50% of behemoth in 30 seconds. What job are you, Omni? As a reminder? That's why, like, there's a, there's a huge plan depending on the job that you need to work out. Like, a melee is just kill it with bloodbath. Tank, you have to have a big plan out about how you do your rotation to make it happen. Machinist? Oh, Machinist, we do... Well, healing strategy is great, but also, um, Tincture. But it's pretty... So, with Tincture strategy, it is a very precise rotation, but if you do the rotation to the letter, you will kill it guaranteed. And with the healing strategy, it's like, if you just keep the mistakes to a minimal, you will also kill it pretty at a pretty good high, high clip. I mean, I, when I killed... There was one thing that I did in Endwalker in the early days, in like the early release of Endwalker, I did Machinist, and I didn't do my turret. I just completely forgot my turret, and I still killed Behemoth with a relatively solid rotation. So it really comes down to a clean rotation to make sure, but that's what's part of the challenge, is you can't really make a big mistake. You do everything right, you get your five, you get your five, uh, I got a poison. You get your five stacks on wildfire, you don't pick up and, and clip any of your GCDs, you'll more than likely get, uh, be okay. Hey, the healing shot is rising up because it's a lot easier. One, can, it, it's pretty incredible to me how taking out one step of the whole strategy makes it so much more appealing. The fact that you don't have to take off food, like people are like, Oh, you don't have to take off food anymore? Oh, I'm going healing strategy. I've heard that so many times. But yeah, you don't have to take out food anymore, man. Just, just keep it on. Like, oh, I'm going healing strategy now. <laughs> like, that's it. That's the, that, was the, that was the deal breaker. Taking food off. <laughs> you take off food to your... Now you don't have to! One arrow, you don't have to anymore, man. It's unnecessary. Because I, I, I did it in Endwalker, where I, I, I left my food on, on purpose. I'm like, you know what, let's test this whole thing out. Let's test the HP, squish, let's test the potion, uh, potency increase, you know? And I left it on on purpose, and we were, like, comfy. Like, not even a concern. So, like, it, it, it really is, like, just leave it on, you're fine now. You know, that also comes to question, I think, I think Zepp did, Zeppla did have food on, right? So she probably on her second attempt could have maybe squeezed out one more kill, uh, one more meteor. I don't think she would have cleared, but she might have been able to squeeze out another, another meteor by, by actually doing the food takeoff, but at that point, man, that's just like, you, you, there's just too many things going on in your brain, so it's hard to really consider that. Oh, I can't use it, damn it. After I was taking- then that was taking food off soup code. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy with it. I was comfy with it, but it's not for everyone. Taking food off did sound annoying. It's another thing to worry about. I mean, like I, like I was mentioning earlier, mixed herbs. Behemoth is already something you have so many things to think about. Like, it's a laundry list of, like, just- Remember this, remember that, do this, do that, do it correctly, make sure you... So, so, adding adding that onto the list makes it obviously more complicated. Taking it off the list, having something less to worry about is already superior, you know? And that's what it was, it was just superior. I like these turrets because they don't move. Yo, direct hit, let's go. That's thanks to Devil, man. Finn did the alpha strategy of clicking up steel living crew. <laughs> yeah, it's to assert dominance, clearly. You need to make sure that you show Behemoth that you are actually more intimidating. Leak the new deep dungeon to me yet? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> if I could, I would. I'm really good with secrets, okay? So if I had to sign an NDA, you're not gonna hear a peep out of me. I'd rather stay in good- I'd rather stay in good- good relation with the company than, uh, be one of those leakers. Cause they take that very seriously. How's Deep Dungeon? Hey Zuzu, after the squish. Haven't touched him at all. 
Uh, the short answer is that they're basically the same. That's the short answer. I already soloed it? Maybe. Long time? Hey man, I hope you've been- you've been well over there. Are we for any fun? It's amazing. It's amazing in Deep Dungeon. I know it has its issues, but it is pretty amazing in Deep Dungeon. If you're used to melee though, because it's still a melee no matter how you slice it. Hehe, <laughs> no matter how you slice it. But it does do a lot of damage. Like it is a powerhouse in Deep Dungeon. I think that's a strength. Where's Ellie? Ellie, look at me, dude. I have I have a fortune that I haven't picked up yet. Wait, why don't why don't I? Oh, because I did a magic slide. This is why I don't use my fortunes often, okay? I was like walking in front of Behemoth with my info. <laughs> That's also like BM. Sight. I'm trying to clear a palace with Reaper. And head on high with Dancer. Yo, let's go. I really like the Dancer run, Hazel. I hope, uh... I hope, uh... Efficiency? Yeah, I'm concerned about the future though. I, I, I hope we get him Dancer, man. Dancer's great. I, I really do like the Dancer run. But then the funny thing is, I still like Bard and Machine is better. Granted, you know... Granted, Dancer is fun, it's just... I still like the other two better. That kind of says a lot about this job. One... Two... Three... Four... I don't want the hand. Let's see. Bard makes you die inside? I don't- I like- I actually like the new Bard even better than, like, Shadowbingers. I like the current Bard a lot. What is this Shadowbinger? Oh, Conceal. Oh, I can just go. So. Oh, because I flighted this hard way. I will never play Bard in this- damn! Hey, it's like me and Monk. I will never play Monk in this expansion. <laughs> Your PB is 93. Oh, nice, Hazel. Okay, okay, okay. Hazel, we're gonna get that clear, man. And I hope this kind of, when we do today, is gonna help you out. That's what I hope. Gotta speak of the lurk before Shayla gets in here. She's already here. Rip. Actually, she was here. She's probably in a meeting or doing a bard show or something. She had paid a bit. Hey, Sam. Why do you all hate Samurai? What's wrong with Samurai? When I do dance in Deep Dungeon, I tend to save my fourfold until I have three, then spam the fourth one whenever it pops up. That's me have three. What are your thoughts on the strategy? Uh, it's better than what I'm doing. <laughs> it means you have a burst. Whereas me, I don't have a burst. But I don't know. I like hitting shiny buttons, so I'm just kind of like inefficient in that matter. Uh... Huh. Yeah, so like it's kind of a better thing, especially it's a good habit to have when you line up uh, damage, but I've never found that necessary for me because I'm usually not in like a terrible spot for that. But yeah. Sometimes I, I think about it, especially when you want to eliminate an enemy faster with a bigger burst. But at the end of the day, I never do it. They have a kite, and that's why you don't like it. Yeah, it's kind of like with me and Monk, man. They got rid of the stances, they got rid of a lot of the OG CDs, and now I just hate Monk.
I don't like how it's centered around perfect balance. Yeah, I, I don't either, Zebrin. Monk feels so slow now. It felt really fast. It used to feel very fast to me. Now it feels like it's so slow, and I hate that. I don't have interrupts, so I can't open that chest yet. I'm gonna check in a sec, I just gotta kill this first. Also, it doesn't have the frailty, so that's also the second reason why I don't do that. <coughs> Nice. Totally worth it. Okay, I got the fortune back. We got it back. You want two, three chats in a room? Please no. God, please no. Mua ha ha. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Hope I got all the hods, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's get out of here before this thing blasts me. I have no healing. That's great. Which rooms have wall traps, or is that in PUTD? There is a specific room in this one in this one zone that does have theoret theoretically a wall trap. If I see it, I'll point it out. But other than that, uh, basically, if you hug the wall tight, you should not step on a trap in this entire this entire layout. There's only one room that has it. Okay, this is the one actually. There's a trap that can be on the right side of this hill. So if you hug around the right side, you have a chance of hitting that trap no matter how tight you hug it. There's, this room also does have a trap that's like one step off the wall too, but I'm not too familiar with that one. Um, but yeah, there is definitely a trap. It's about... Uh, it's about... here. That's where that trap is. And it's specifically this layout. It's not here this time, but that's where it would be. I think it's always the multi, the multi one Daraban. Actually, it's hard to say. There is, yeah, there's like the one version where the chest can be around the corner. And I feel like that doesn't have it, but like pretty much if it looks like this, it usually does. I missed a room. Why did I miss a room? You thought they- oh no, they they did not change anything in this game mode. Nothing, nothing in Deep Dungeon has ever been altered directly for Deep Dungeon. I mean, yeah, like jobs indirectly got buffed and stuff, but not directly for Deep Dungeon, that's for sure. So everything's still really the same. Still asleep in another dimension. Could be true. Witching in that other room. Zeth, hello. Good to see you. There's one room with the stairs to be on the east. One shade bridge and the last one I don't recall. Okay, when we see it, I can probably point it out. I, I know what you're talking about. Hello, can I get the chest? Thank you. Are you kidding me? 
I call shenanigans on that one. What in the world? He just moved, too. I can't dance. I'm too close to things here. Yeah, I guess I counted. His tail's, like, pointing upwards, so I don't know how he stepped on his tail. No, oh, okay, I gotta pay attention. Oh, great. Yeah, that's even worse. Uh, worst combination right now. Oh, nice. Um, eh, the seal should carry over for the boss. Uh, I was asking... I was asking about the spawn... I was, yes. I found out that sets have their own maps even though they're exactly the same. Okay. Does that answer the question, or does that give an answer to the question then? This mod? It's your PvP mount from last season. Does anyone have this mount? I bet it plays generic music. It would have been nice if they played the March of the Dreadnoughts from FF13, but I almost am certain it doesn't do that. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the robot bitches, the other one. Yeah, they do the passive-aggressive infrared lasers. For the title? As a DPS? Yo, Pog, dude. The respect, man. It implies that 141 is programmed differently. You know what's interesting, Daraban? You know what's interesting, Daraban? It may not be as weird as you think. Well, maybe it is. But think of it this way. In Palace of the Dead, every floor set mimics its partner floor set to some extent from the from 100 floors ago, right? And granted, 31 and 131 are not K floors, they're like more like ruined floors. But the boss is the same at 140 as it is for 40. However, for 150 and 50, they are completely different bosses. So that could be the explanation as to why it's different, because every other boss is exactly the same except for 50 and 150, right? I mean, yeah, yeah mechanically they're different. I mean, the model's the same. Now, that seems like a rather simplistic way of explaining it, but... I mean, could it be a reason? Yeah, it cost me potions, why is it I don't understand why... Oh, I... Well, yeah, true, you did mention 131 as well. Well, if you look at... Again, if you look at the mirror of the floors... Uh, Daraban again. It is, it, both of those floors are like, are like not K floors, right? Because, um, what do you call it? 3141 is the, the, the ruin type floors, but then 131, 141 are cave. Whereas, uh, whereas 11 and 21 are cave, and then 111 and 121 are cave. So that could be one of the main reasons that it isn't just a copy of the, uh, a copy of that kind of thing, you know? Maybe that's the reason that it's not a cave floor versus a cave floor? Hey, K hey, uh, Perry, what's up, dude? No, hey, any raid is thoughtful. You could have dropped it at anywhere. Um, you could have put it in any stream and said hi to them, but you picked ours, so I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. How was your stream, ma'am? Uh, my mods are sleeping, so I guess I'll do the shout-out. But yeah, thank you for the raid. I hope your stream went well. Playing the... F playing the critically acclaimed FF14 online. You could have used it anywhere, dude. Anywhere. What do you think about the advanced Criterion Dungeon that's going to be added next patch? I hope it's good. I'm going to do it. 
So Zeth, I'm going to do it. But I hope it's good. So the question isn't, will I stream the content? Will I play the content? It's more, is it going to hold me longer than like me beating it one time? <laughs> right? Because like, I think it's safe to say we're doing Deep Dungeon for a couple more years. But like the Boja duels, for instance. The Boja duels only held my attention until I beat them, and that's it. I never really went back and did them. I mean, I kind of did it like once in a while, but... And it was, I also did it as like a backup plan if like Deep Dungeon died. But, um... Boja was one and done. So I wonder if Criterion will be repeatable. And if I'll be able to like challenge it in other ways or something like that. And I hope I can, but let's see. But we have no info. We don't know anything about it. All we know is that it scales from 1 to 4 players, that's it. It could mean Deep Dungeon-esque, or it could mean just... It's just harder with 4 people, but who knows. Scaling can mean two different things. It could mean that... Um... If you're with 4 people, it's harder than if you go in by yourself, which honestly would be a little bit of a bleh thing, but... Hey, the game mode in itself could still be fun. I mean, if you put more leaderboards and more incentives to compete, then I won't feel so bad. But of course, you're gonna have the lingering thought of Deep Dungeon in your brain, how Deep Dungeon is not scaled, and is exactly the same as four people. But then also, you could have it like a Mythic plus dungeon in Warcraft, in World of Warcraft, where that scales, but it scales the other way. It doesn't scale, you know, downwards to make it easier, it scales upwards to make it harder. So that could be cool. You know, like you just keep ramping up the difficulty until until like until you get one shot or something. Like I'm, that might be fun, but we just don't know. There's literally no information other than it's a new content that's not in the game right now. There is nothing like it in this game right now. So you just have to wait, see, see what it is. Someone asked if I'm going to stream the live letter. I said no because I don't exist at, at 7 a.m. in this dimension. So I'll just look at it after, and we can talk about it, uh, I guess, Sunday, after. I'm gonna try to look at chat, hold on. Hope it isn't a pushover as a warrior. I don't mind if, like, warrior is good at it, I just hope it's good. Like, like the, the, the treasure maps are really hard on warrior to try to solo it. it it's more of a time-consuming thing, though. I like leaderboards that are required... Uh, it's a place to get rewards, conceptually, yeah. Because then that means you go into like seasonal things. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I actually would be entertained by the idea of seasonal deep dungeon. Like that actually might be very interesting to me. Um, but, you know. One raising? We did get one raising, that's right. We are moving up in the world. It's why deep dungeon is good, yeah, because it doesn't scale. That's why it's good. And the, and, the, and the competition part of it. Uh, hey, do you have any advice for someone? Says Jordan Dance, who has died multiple times on floors 171 to 180. Okay, let's have a conversation, shall we, Jordan? Jordax? Sorry, jo Jordax, my apologies. Um, what are you dying to? Let's figure that out. What are you dying to? Let's dissect the run, shall we? Because dying on 171 is going to have an extremely different answer than dying on 178. Or dying on Behemoth. Like, those are very extremely different answers. So, what is commonly killing you? Or what are we commonly... What floor are we commonly wiping to? Sixty? Yeah, dude. Dancer is just fast, man. We're three hours in and we're done with the first fifty. Anzus and the monkeys. Okay. Anzus are ones that you definitely don't want to touch. You just have to be a little patient with them. They are sight aggro, so for the most part they can be avoided. But if you end up having to fight it, I would recommend doing a witching. A an ape, a gorilla, you need running room. An ape, a summoner can kill a gorilla with no steel. If you open with sprints and you nuke the hell out of it. But it can totally do it no steel. So, apes in, in, in essence on a summoner should be no problem, and if they are a problem, then one thing you may want to try is I would suggest watching some videos. Like, I have I have my summoner run up there, but also, like, maybe even observe machinist videos and some other range videos to see how people are kiting it. 
So it could be a problem, or it could be an issue with how you're choosing to kite the enemies, and how you're choosing to approach it. Because, especially on summoners, since your only method of kiting is sprint, if you're sprinting after the pull, your sprint is only 10 seconds. So that means you only have 10 seconds to give, keep distance away, and that could be not enough time for you to survive. If you're sprinting before the pull, you get a 20 second sprint, so you have 20 seconds to kite that thing before it's dead. And Summoner is a powerhouse. If you open with Dreadworm, you're probably going to destroy it before it even gets close to you. Before you run out of sprint. That's how good Summoner is, so... Um... Now, another thing that we tend to sometimes do, and that I like to do, uh, Jordax, is I'll try to fight my way up until 177 or 176 and then plan to rage or flight the last three floors in some combination, depending how my time looks. So another way to maybe look at it is you kind of use your floor wipe so you don't have to deal with so many apes or so many answers, you just rage them out. So something else to consider. Um, so like you spend time on the earlier floors to kill them a lot more frequently, and then you save like your bigger pomanders to deal with um, the, the much, more, much more deadlier enemies. And by the way, that is kind of the strategy you utilize for like 181 as well. Because 185 up, the enemies are much easier. And once you step into like 185, 186, so on, the enemies are way harder. And way more complex. And that's when you want to use your harder commanders that, that will get you through a little bit better. Well, that made sense. But, uh, but also, if you need some video reference, if, if you haven't seen my video, I can share it. Um, if you need a POV of it just to see how it goes, I can I can totally uh, send that off. Or if you just want to scour my YouTube or something. Um, but I think video might really help you get an idea of what the job can be capable of. Because that's one of the reasons that I think it's important to have not only written but also video evidence. It's just like, hey, this is what it's capable of. Like, this is what you could pull off. Um, and as long as you're kind of doing it more or less the same, you should more or less hopefully have the same result. Yeah, no problem, dude. If you have any more questions, let me know. That's a tough floor, though. No matter how you slice it, I mean, I'm, I'm, I might have made it sound easy, but those enemies are very hard. Um, but Summoner can can do some work, that's for sure. I'll catch up on Chad once I kill uh, Staff Lady here. And also, I need to I need to hit the restroom and all that, and then we're gonna get into the time management part of this run. We're gonna talk about. Um, how to efficiently get through the last 40 floors. So this will turn into a kind of a guide format for anyone thinking about a physical range. Or, or uh, even summoner. I mean, actually I did the live patrol summoner last time, so it's part of that, but this will supplement that. Let me catch up and chat a little bit here. Um, I like seasonal leaderboards and keep track of things from patch to patch. Yeah, I think seasonal leaderboards for Deep Dungeon, you know, honestly, Seasonal Deep Dungeon leaderboards is way more viable now, since you have so many people who've cleared. I mean, again, remember, Heaven on High came out, and I will always repeat this. Heaven on High came out before there was like more than three Necromancers. So I would imagine the idea of a seasonal leaderboard of competitive scoring was non-existent. Like, it wasn't a problem that needed to be solved. But I think now, not to say it's a problem... But it's a feature that could be entertained by gamers right now because you have so many people that can do the content. So it could be something maybe in the future that they think about. Man, would that be interesting? I, you probably would start seeing me start doing scoring runs because I would be, I would love to compete like that. Um, so something to be interesting about. Um, issue with you because it really depends on how active it is. Yeah, SE should make more leaderboard things for stuff. Uh yeah, they should. I mean, you know what pisses me off, Perry? It's how when you do an unsync dungeon and you get a time of how fast you do it, and it doesn't go anywhere. It means literally nothing, but you get a time. And then also on top of that, it's the the um, the carnival, carnival of Blue Mage. You get a scorecard like Deep Dungeon, but it goes absolutely nowhere. There's no high score. There's no self. There's no self save of like what you've done before. It just shows up and that's it. Like, they could have done so much more with that, but it just doesn't go anywhere. Just a simple leaderboard would have just made that content so much more entertaining to me. That's why I got driven into Deep Dungeon, because it was partially competitive. <laughs> like, fun competitive, but it is competitive. Um, hey guys, buy some coffee. We are partnered with Jabby Coffee, and I'm going to take a break, so if you guys want to check that out while I'm away, that'd be awesome. 
um, a lot of uh, almost everyone in chat who has actually purchased the product has actually liked the product. It's just basically liquefied coffee that you put into uh into like your own like water, milk, whatever it might be, and you get coffee instant coffee like that. So if you need coffee, it's a nice way to do it without having to go to like Starbucks or like, you know, brewing it with the beans and stuff. It's pretty it, and it it tastes like straightforward. It, it, there's nothing else complicated with it, so it's pretty damn good. You got killed by an ape sandwich between two of them runes, Anzu. Yeah, you know, it's so funny now because I had that problem on Red Mage before, Zeth. And now my solution is basically to kill everything on the way and to not sandwich myself between apes. I, I try to eliminate apes as, as much as possible. Um, yeah, Rua got some. Add a leaderboard for blue mates and wipes weekly or monthly, no prizes clean. Yeah, that's all you need. You don't need prizes, dude. Just put it up somewhere. Oh, it's so much better if they do that. Can you kite when the mob have the sprint debuff and gloom? It's tricky. I would almost recommend, so in a gloom floor shadow, you either want to make sure you have steel on or you probably want the serenity, especially if you're talking about apes and gloom. Like you can get away with like polar bears and Damel and uh, and maybe a Wissen, but a Wissen is really tough. Um, you know, those you can get away with, but an ape doing tank buster and catching up to your position, especially say on specifically summoner, that's tough. Machinist might get away with it because your sprint might save you with from a couple autos, and then you could still wait it with with leg raise, and it could still kind of mitigate some damage. But it's a tricky business. If you don't kill it before all of your stuff is gone, then you're like, like if you had strength on a gloom floor as machinist, I would risk it, especially if you had raising on. I would give it a shot. Um, but it's very very risky. To, to pull it off like you really have to be careful like you would want to have all your heals and defenses ready to go uh my t my doctor told me to add black coffee to my diet to help fight against my fat liver problem yo try but try the like, catman seriously try the try the jabby coffee because you can control you can control how much you put into it maybe it will satisfy what you need for your dietary needs like you don't have to just you can like put in like a little get a little bit of that flavor and just drink it with like water or milk, you know, and that might satisfy it. Um, like that's kind of the nice one. Like black coffee is like is made in a certain way, right? This one is just totally. Um, it hasn't sent in. I got a I got a confirmation that they did finally send it. It's slow. I'm not, that's I'm like that's pure honestly. Like they're kind of slow. But I think they're starting to ship it out. There might have been issues like like not with the company, but like with like overall just IRL issues so my time July you're helping me out let's you know it, it's nice you guys are gonna help me out but I, I just hope you like it if you guys hate it you gotta tell me because honestly if you guys start to hate the product and people telling me that shipping is bad that's important too because I'll complain to them I'll be like yo uh, I've had like five community members tell me the shipping is bad like <laughs> And then that's excuse for me to maybe even like, you know, push them to do something about it. So please be honest about the whatever products you get. Like if you had a hard time or if you have some issues, like tell me because I will re I will tell them, you know, and you might and it might help you out. Actually, it might help me out. It might help you out that that you guys are having issues and you might get a better experience. So um, I also have fatty liver problems. There are dozens of us. <laughs> OK, so while I'm away, check out the Javi. But also, guys, we are doing a survey, okay? Just a quick explanation in the survey. Imagine you're watching a streamer or you are the streamer in the high floors and you're panicking. You're trying to get the title and you're like, oh man, what do I do? What do I do? And you're trying to get through to the floor and you start riffing off some questions, like some basic questions. But what are those questions? What are you asking chat or what is chat? Or what are you, as the viewer, answering for that streamer? And we are trying to collect all of those questions as much as possible. So if there's something in your mind that you're thinking of that you may have helped someone or you've experienced yourself. Give it a give it a look at the survey and just type it in there. Uh, we might be working on something in the very near future, and I would greatly appreciate it. So do that while I'm away. We're gonna set up for. I'm gonna hit the restroom. We're gonna set up for time management. We'll talk a lot. We'll play a quick ad, and we'll do all that. So. BRB. We'll play some music. Put them back. Yeah, that's a good song. Let's have this one playing back. Okay. BRB. You miss you misunderstood the stuff. It's okay. If you do something like an incorrect thing, it's okay. We're gonna sift through the whole thing anyway, so it's all good. You can redo it if you want to. Okay, BRB guys. Thanks for watching.